Uh, welcome everybody. Ready, <laughs> you ready, Brittany? I am ready. Welcome, guys, to Texas Card House here in Dallas for our leap in the spring final table main event. You got Mitchell Lloyd here in the box. You have Brittany and Aaron. Aaron, you there? I sure am. What's going on, guys? Uh, looks like we're going to have uh, a, an interesting <laughs> final table here uh, tonight. We got Brittany in the box. Final <laughs> table, big money. At stake here. Uh, I can't wait. Looks like I'm ready to get started. Let's take a look at the. Oh, we're in it. Oh, we're in it first hand already. Let's go. And we have Brittany in the box. Brittany is in the box. <coughs> and Dusty's already amped up. You'll have to see that. that. Of course, she is coming Let's in. Let's go. Overwhelming. <laughs> here, here it is. We'll get to the chip count here shortly, guys. Uh, but I can tell you now, Dusty has a big, huge chip lead right now. We love to see it. <laughs> For the ladies. See, there's Hayden in seat two. Everybody's familiar. He made the final. This is the second final table of the, the tournament event. Very nice. He finished, uh, he finished fourth in the PLO tournament, Brittany. The, the one recently? Yeah, in this uh, leap in the spring uh, bat, yeah. Very nice. Interesting spot here on our first hand. Gabriel in the hijack going to open it up with the king nine off. Only starting the hand with 20 big blinds. So definitely on the fringes of uh, opening territory, especially with the big pay jump. And our one player starting this final table with only six big blinds. So it's a little bit dangerous to get involved with these kind of marginal holdings, but he is going to open, perhaps having played with some of these players to his left, uh, you know, on the day one and day two, and recognizing their play styles, maybe going to be a little bit tighter. But Tim BB here waking up with the goods in the big line. <laughs> Could be dangerous for Gabriel for sure. Yeah, I mean, he's never opening against this short stacks big line with the intention of folding, especially not for the uh, slightly over min raise. So he is going to make the call, and he's dominated. All right, here we go. Team B Tim Beebe going all in. Call from Gabriel. Fireworks first hand, first hand, Brittany. Very Look at this. First hand. All in in the first hand. And here we go. Ace King still good. And I believe that's it. So all things said and done, it's not the biggest uh, hit in the world for Gabriel, but that is going to knock him down to the second smallest chip stack there. He was kind of in the middle of the pack, and yeah, just 15 big lines now. And as you said earlier, Dad, um, Dusty's starting out with a massive chip lead. Yeah, look at look at this chip count. The uh... We have uh, two top of uh, uh, chip uh, chip leaders are uh, Dusty and Hayden, two regulars here uh, in Dallas, PCH. <laughs> Everybody knows that uh, Hayden is married to Kim. Kim Stone. The lovely yeah. Kim Stone. Definitely a power <laughs> couple. Can't leave that out. <laughs> the, uh... We love Kim. Yeah, she's awesome. No doubt about it. I think sure we may Kim actually. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I was just going to say, I'm sure Kim is lurking in the chat. We haven't seen her pop up yet, but I know she'll be watching. Uh, Lurk, lurking in the chat. She's lurking. She's lurking she, in the background. She, she, she's lurking in the room. <laughs> she is here. She is here. Kim Stone is in the building. And yeah. we love it. Yeah. She came up and said hi earlier. She's very excited. Very excited. This poker monkey in the chat there, Brittany. Good evening. And BB in a small blind, <laughs> not waking up with Ace King there, had to fold. And Alec will take that. Alex, this is not his first time at the final table. He's a, 
He's made it a few times. There's Kim. She's in the chat. She is watching. Hey, I didn't want to go We're here, right? No. We're like five minutes in here. I mean, it doesn't matter. Kim or Hayden sits down at any of these tables. Uh, people uh, sit up straight and pay attention, you know? Yeah. Definitely have to. Sorry, yeah, I got a cold back. Gabriel waking up with a real hand this time. Really middle position. Pocket needs. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. that's the second shortest stack here. He doesn't really have a ton of options. <laughs> he can open small and still fold if he uh, gets a bunch of action behind, which he is going to take that route, yeah. mm -hmm. it appears. Uh, Gabriel came a long way. Uh, to play the tournament here. He's, uh, what do you say, from Ecuador? Ecuador, yeah, which yeah. is yeah. fantastic. Yeah, kind of yeah. Yeah. Very cool. I don't think he just came all the way. I think he oh, was visiting. Well, convenient for him. Yeah, good. Like, Very like lucky. the final table, yeah. <laughs> but then you feel it, and then you're like, oh, yeah, all right, let's go. I know what to do with yeah. this thing. <laughs> Baby here on the button wishes he had something a little better than King 4, what do you think? Like yesterday when I was like, I just wish I could I see could my see worst that. one first. Yeah. If I can just see the worst one first every time. Oh, that's hot, too, right? Oh, I know. I was like, the first one sucks. All right, let's do it. <laughs> MBB definitely paying very intentionally and taking time to consider all of his options. <laughs> We have NRG fantasy concerned about Hayden's position at the table to Dusty's direct right. <laughs> oh yeah, we're getting a we're getting a, uh, <laughs> a lot of love for Dusty and uh, and Hayden, the two big regulars here, uh, pointing out that uh, Hayden does have probably the worst seat in the house to <laughs> Dusty's right. Uh, but uh, happy to see all the love from the, the chat for these two. There's Poker Monkey saying hey to you there. Good evening, Poker uh, Monkey. Good to have you with us as usual. Well, there's Bart. Haven't seen or heard from Bart in a while. Glad to see him in the chat. Uh oh, here we go. Interesting to see the pretty consistent larger open sizes here. Nobody going with just the pure min rays. And that is going to bloat the pot here pretty substantially. We can see just with the blinds, antis, and the open and call already up to 1.5 million. So stack to pot ratio going to be really shallow in any of these pots that we're playing when these players aren't opening for a min raise. So this is going to be potentially you know, some quick consolidation if we get a couple of big hands crashing into each other. Let's say it's standard aggressive Texas play, maybe. <laughs> Absolutely. Bobby is raising it up here with a couple of queens. Dusty, thinking about it. Hmm. And we'll make the call. Guys, I'll show you the, uh, the payouts here at the end of the hand. I know a lot of you are interested in that. Dangerous board here for Colby. Stack to pot ratio about two and a half. So it's going to be tough for him to sort of navigate this spot. Top flopping, top pair, second kicker. Bobby here, of course, loving this flop with the yeah. over pair up against two opponents. Colby also does have a backdoor flush draw. Which I registered that as Bobby for a second for some reason, and I was like, "Is this a is this a bad joke?" And then I was like, "Oh, Colby, need to need to dial in." Colby does get to see the turn for the low low price of 300k, so one sixth continue from Bobby. Now Bobby seeing the five of hearts here, full Badugi on the board. Hmm. Should be looking for a way to get all of the chips in by the river. Yeah, uh, I would say Colby probably thinks his king is still good with that five of hearts. He's not afraid of that at all. Could cause him problems here.
like the bet sizing here from Bobby. Getting the stack to pot ratio under one here. Eight of hearts doesn't change that much. Queen 10 gets there, of course, but shouldn't be any two pairs or anything connecting with that eight. And Bobby with the two queens hard blocking the queen tens of the world. Let's see if he follows through with the line that he has set up here. Ooh, Ooh he's going to slow check. it down and wow. check. Well, Ugh, lucky for Colby for sure. Wow. There it is. All right, guys, let me get this uh, the payout here for you guys. I know everybody wants to know. And there it is, uh, big money uh, tonight, Brittany. Look at the number one spot mm -hmm. there. 180000 for first place this yeah. evening. Very exciting. I mean, first and second, over 100000 Ninth place, uh, 19 down five. That's pretty good, too. Pretty good, but definitely not. I don't think what anybody here at this final nine is shooting for. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to have that locked up, but certainly if you're one of the players in the middle of the pack, sitting, you know, with sort of 25, 30 big blinds, your plan is to, you know, wait for some of these shorter stacks to bust out. Don't get involved in any scary positions while you have plenty of chips and just kind of hope to ladder up a few spots because, yeah, the, the pay jumps are real juicy. Go yeah. from 19.5 on up to you know 40,000 real quick, just a couple of spots. Yeah, just to let you guys know, uh, they did finish, uh, to, got down to the final table last night, and uh, changing it up a little bit instead of finishing it all last night until six o'clock in the morning. Mm. We came back tonight. <laughs> Everybody's nice and fresh and uh, ready to go. Ready to go, yeah. I wonder how many of them actually got to sleep last night though. Tough to say. Definitely like a little kid on Christmas. Look yeah. at this Hayden with the button and a couple of queens asking to see uh, to be be stacked there. Less than 1.7. Bart saying he was out of town. Mark Lee's in the chat. This is an interesting open size here. 3x open from Tim BB, and he only started the hand yeah. with like 12 big blinds. Mm -hmm. So, sort of a committing open almost. He is going to get 3 bet, of course, by Hayden with the two queens. I hate to put three blinds out there and then fold when you only started with 12, but. Mm. King Queen off, just not the kind of hand you really want to go with. I mean, yeah. nobody feels comfortable in this position, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, Hay Hayden definitely applying the pressure here. Oh. And just a call. Leaving himself hardly anything behind. He's oh. got three big blinds behind. And, uh, this uh. Is rope. and, and now... Uh, <sighs> Yeah. Tim BB no. is in a lot of trouble right here. Ugh, what a setup. That's. King Queen? Good game. Yeah. yeah, running King's the only way out here, and. That is not going to happen. That's fine. Good game. Good game. If there was a game block that you wanted, that was it, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, good game to Tim. He's going to take that $19,500. We with did lose you guys for a second, but I guess that's it for Tim BB. Well, there it is. We didn't exactly see the run. Okay, Tim BB, going to finish it. I get it, I get it. Ninth place there. 
that was cooking. Man. It was not one of those final tables that the, the short stack triples up every single yeah, time. Yeah, it yeah, yeah, that happens. And I, I started with him, I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. It's stressful, happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very fun. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's really fun, because sometimes you want them there. If you have a big set, yeah. you actually know what you're doing. Oh, maybe. <laughs> okay, so just to let you guys know, uh, seat number eight has just been penalized. A couple of hands. Apparently, he pulled his phone out. Yeah, two-hand penalty. Probably just not thinking. You know, everyone's used to just whipping their phone out and checking things. And yeah. They did get a, uh, a warning in advance. But and that's de definitely a no-no here at TCH. Yeah, it so, happens. So, seat eight. And... Uh, Two hand penalty. It's about the only one that I wouldn't defend. Mm -hmm. Take it. Take it, man. Know, tell me get back to the chat. Enjoy man. it. Thank you. <laughs> you will enjoy it. You're trying to multitask <laughs> there. I was so good. <laughs> I enjoy it. Yeah. I was, was 11,000 if you bought it. I was about to rip Jack in right there. How was you? Yeah, it was 1.1 1. 1, uh, for this buy in. Not, not to be confused with 11,000. Yeah, some people fired a few more bullets than Do others. Do still have you but, uh, with uh, us, Aaron? Excuse me? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. I think we've lost Aaron. Is Aaron is not here? Oh, I don't know. I can hear okay. you. Okay. You can't hear me? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it sounds like we're having some uh, potential audio issues here. Okay. See Nick's in the chat there. Very nice, sharp man. Family man. Nick. All right, we'll see if, uh, you, can you guys hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Welcome okay, there back. He is. Very good. <laughs> well, I think he was there the whole time. We, we just couldn't hear him. Yeah, it's, it's not you, it's us. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody crossed the stream somewhere, and it all went to hell. <laughs> there it is. Oh, we're back. That's all that matters. And there it is. Uh, by the way, just to let you guys know, uh, in between the hands here, uh, 10BB did finish with 19.5, 19.5. And uh, next payout will be a cool 23,000, Brittany. Smooth 23. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Getting a lot of people in the chat. We got Nick and Sassy. Dan, Dan is in the chat here. It's crazy, right? That's how I ever played. Mark Wee. First time I ever played. Jacob's there. Not, not even a real one. It was for like work, and I just thought, oh my god, I'm amazing. It's good to see Bart back in the chat. You know, he's watching. I can't lose. Yeah, I called my buddy. I'm like, hey, take me to that card room, and they just kicked my ass. And I was like, well, that's, yeah. that's weird because I'm so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty just tooting her own horn. <laughs> we love to see it. There's Lala. She's in the chat. Good to see her. Hi, La. Anthony and look uh, there's Emilio Aww, hi, BB. Uh, Emilio's in the chat thank you for hanging out with us this evening Brittany's bow he's a good dude also, also a big poker fan so I don't know if he's yeah. tuning in for me or for the big payout <clears throat> <laughs> tough to say <laughs> well, Dusty's gonna raise it up here with the little ace six Colby with a suited ace looking to make the call, possibly. Yeah, and our blinds have just gone up, so Colby's starting with, you know, about, what, 12 big blinds, something like that. Ace eight of diamonds there. Might have been a pretty decent spot to just shove it against the chip leader who's going to be opening pretty wide. But uh, it does just make the call. Hopes to hit something, but pretty brickish flop for the ace eight of diamonds. Yeah, he'll uh, throw it away. Dusty will take it down. 
Uh, Aaron, you know, we got some stuff coming up here. Uh, uh, Poker Atlas seems to be at it again, <laughs> which is good, huh? Uh, Absolutely. That's, that's down a little, a little closer to Purdue, but a little farther down than the Houston there, guys. We have the Poker Atlas Tour coming up here in April. Uh, 10, 16 uh, events, over a million dollars in guarantee, which is kind of cool. We guys are looking for more tournament action, right? Yeah, so many good tournament series around the state at Texas Card House locations. Of course, this uh, series just wrapping up with the main event final table here. Of course, we had the high roller event uh, late last night as well to sort of uh, finish off the series. Then we got Poker Atlas coming up. And, uh, yeah, all sorts of good stuff at Texas Card House around the state. No coaching. And yeah, a young man, Harvey, who uh, did real well. I'll get the chat. I'm sorry. Thank you, Brittany. <laughs> the silent chat reminder. Yes. Lots of... Uh, Fans of the young Bobby in the chat also. Who's raised his button, but probably not going to get any action. Definitely not from Vixens. I would assume. <laughs> Safe assumption. Yeah, fresh off his two-hand penalty right back to the big blind with 10 deuce off. And right into the blind. Doesn't seem fair. <laughs> well, uh, you, uh, we got to point out this this message from Kim here. What's that? She sent in fifty dollars for every player that busts before Hayden. Huh. Okay. You got to like right. that. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Hayden going to throw that six deuce away. See, he can do that. That's why, you know, he's made the final table. He can mm. throw that six deuce away like that. Exceptional play. Yeah. Let's see what AJ wants to do here with his ace king. AJ with the ace king, yeah. <clears throat> uh oh. Kobe. A couple of nines here on the button. <laughs> See what he wants to do with those 2.5 million chips. And there it is. Going to be all of it? He did say all in, yeah. Yeah, only 10 big blinds. There's a couple of players down in the danger zone, but two, two nines certainly good enough to get it in there. You there need to double is. up at some point to distance yourself from the players at the bottom of the pack. So this is his spot to do it. If he can hold. AJ does make the call. Let's see Bo there in the in the chat. You gotta dig that. Thank you, Bo. Bo, you're also one of our favorites. Without a doubt. From back home. And look at this flop. Oh. Wow. Heartbreaking for I mean, Colby. And now it's over. Yeah. Backdoor spade is live. Oh, the spade. Yeah, the spade. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Not if Brittany has anything to say for just ripping it and pushing wow. the pots. AJ taking it down. That's tough. Colby. Congratulations, young man. Played well. That's all I heard was. And he will be taking home. 23,000 for eighth place. That's not bad. Definitely not bad at all. Out of 1,277 players finishing eighth is not shabby. Not shabby at all. So we talked about it today. Oh, man. Like, thank like you, Brittany, for pointing. To you. She's keeping me on my toes Back in to here. the chat. I miss you guys. I feel like we haven't been here for a couple of weeks. I miss everyone. It's great to be here. As excited as they are, I've been looking forward to this all week, I, yeah, honestly. Me too. I or was two too. weeks. It's, yeah. Oh, there it is. Your favorite hand, there Bobby. It is. Same color and everything. You know I love it. Bobby really is a favorite in the chat, so let's see how this uh, pans out for him. What do you think, Aaron? Yeah, two red tens, very strong hand, but he's facing a raise already in between. So just going to make the call. I, th I think this is perfectly reasonable. Um, he's <coughs> one of the deeper stacks at the table at this point. 
and really just wants to hold on to that position, wait till the shortest stacks bust out. So two tens, it, while being very strong, doesn't really want to just get all the money in, given the ICM pressure that's that's going on. This is a fantastic flop for two tens. Absolutely. Let's see how AJ proceeds with the betting lead out of position. He is going to continue for basically the same bet. Five and seventy-five. I think it's definitely respectable, especially with the flush draw out there. Well, Kimmy with the super chat there, as promised. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh-oh. Timmy Farrow in the chat. We'll get back to Timmy in one uh, second yes. after this hand. Good to see him in the in the chat. And in person. It was. It was. <laughs> kind of caught yeah. me off guard. He caught me off guard a little bit. There it is. Bobby will take it down. Uh, yeah, Timmy Farrow, Brittany, you like to mention him? I'll let you get ahead. Timmy Farrow, yeah. friend of ours from Baltimore, showed up as so many people from all over the country, uh, you know, uh, it's a huge tournament, and a lot of people from all over the country, a friend of ours, Jimmy Smith, and some other friends from Baltimore showed up, right? Yeah, it was a huge shock. Um, I was actually cashing out one of the days after um, dealing all day and turn around, and there's Timmy, who I've not seen in quite some time. Yeah. Um, I really wish he could have been here at the final table with us. That would have been yeah. the icing on the cake, but so great to see him regardless. Um, yes. Super grateful for everyone from all over the country, world, et cetera, that comes out. Um, for these awesome series yeah. that we put on. So. And, uh, we had a lot of events. I, I did play one of the events. Brittany, I haven't <laughs> seen you in a couple of days. Did you play any of the events here? No, I got to work all of the events oh. instead. Yeah. I, uh, I did play the seniors event. Yeah. I, uh, I do qualify, you know, barely, mm. you know, by eight years. <laughs> mm. I did well. I, I did. I didn't. I didn't cash. Uh oh, let's let's pause that okay. because we got Hayden and Dusty going at it. Uh oh. So let's see. Dusty did hit the. Getting lucky with the loose the play with the ten four. <laughs> and yeah, it was just easy. a battle of the blinds there. Hayden yeah. looking from the small blind, Dusty checking back, and yeah, it's just. Kind of one of those simple situations of whoever has a pair gets the win. Yeah. yeah. Especially with that, that, that flop right there. Uh, yeah, there's Timmy. Uh, you know, he did say he loved it here and uh, told me he, would, he definitely would be back. I think it for sure could have gone better for Timmy, but I'm sure he'll be back. Um, we would love to have you. Maybe we could, I don't know, like do lunch or dinner or something next time. I don't know. Instead of you just bouncing around, <laughs> trying to make final tables. Vixen has been quiet so far through uh, 13 hands. Let's go get involved here. Hayden not happy with that 610 there. Mm, Dusty with one of my favorite hands that we never talk about. Yeah. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so no, no hat for Dusty today. Dusty always, I, I saw her, I, didn't, I noticed it, I didn't say anything. But uh, Dusty always has a hat, even when she, she's been on the, a couple of w, WPT events mm -hmm. on TV. And she wore a hat, but uh, no hat today. She's got the hair down, looking great. She's got the shades on. Definitely she's just in the zone. radiating confidence. Definitely sure. in the zone. Brittany, we have 614 people watching. Isn't that great? That's awesome. Hand number 14. Brittany in the box. Aaron hanging out with us. Ryan uh, pointing out that Hayden took off. To, it, it, you know, it's big money here. We're playing for big money. They know a lot of people are going to be watching. They want to look their best, like you. I think I look pretty great today. Yeah, forget about <laughs> it. Dusty with the button and Jack Nine. Going to grab some chips. Yeah, with Dusty's chip stack, she really gets to open sort of relentlessly. She could be opening with Gabriel's hand if she wanted to. Yeah, yeah. yeah nobody, nobody's going to mess with her, I don't think. They're going to have to be pretty strong. Nobody wants to mess around with Dusty right now. 
We got Lego in the chat, a little jaded against seat one. He said see busted him when he was a three to one favorite. Defend anything, but that's a it would have been cool, I think, to have Lego also at the final table with us. Kimmy in the chat giving Bobby some uh, creativity. Some love there, you know, giving him some respect. Yeah, great player. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to do it, but I have a, I have other rounds to do in here until then. I talked to Brittany there in the box. I talked to her a little bit. She says she's ready to go. She's ready for a long final table. Uh, I thought she'd promised us an early night. <laughs> it's tough to say. It'll definitely be interesting. It all plays out. For the sake of the game. Eden. For the viewers at home. Yeah, I crack aces. Says if you, you ever see Ryan without a hat, the world's coming to an end, apparently. <laughs> The world's in trouble. All right, Gabriel with the ace eight off, recognizing that Hayden can be opening pretty wide. Gonna rip it in with the ace high, and Hayden here gonna get a count. It is under ten big blinds, but you really hate to double up a player that you are almost certainly behind. It'd be really tough to think that your opponent could have something like queen ten suited or jack ten suited. Maybe pocket tens, nines, eights, you know, those sort of hands you're not too worried about, but you're almost always uh, far behind at this stage. Always tempting to put the call in there and try to knock <laughs> a player out, though. That is for sure. I think that's definitely what... Hayden is hoping for here. You think he? You think he finds the call? What do you think? What do I? I mean, I. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent insight. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> I mean, I, I was trying to look at him and kind of gauge from from his, you know, his reaction. With my stack. You don't get too picky, okay? Yeah. Later. Uh, we'll talk also, about not only do we have over 600 Later, here with us uh, I on YouTube and on the chat, but we Last also have another 100 well, through Facebook. I was watching uh, not, not too long ago when I wasn't here. I was watching on Facebook. Well, hello to all 100 of you. I can read thank you. Thank you. Very yeah. cool for you guys yeah. to be hanging out with us this evening. Except for 10 views and those three on the big one. That gives me like chills. Take over. Click. There we go. All right, back to it. Hand number 16. The lovely Miss Brittany. I, I told you I was. Uh, I played the seniors tournament. Yes. Uh, I finished 23rd. I played. I played well. Okay. They paid 17, so I didn't mm. cash. But uh, I got out of line at the end there. And uh, what there was in the beginning, and I, I, I only because Kim is listening. I, I'm not going to get into all the details, but. At the end of this hand, I'll <laughs> You'll tell us what happened. Well, I'm not going to get it. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. This is a, should be a good one for all the Bobby fans. Yeah, Bobby in a small blind waking up with a couple of kings. Gonna figure out what he wants to do here. and like this hand, but now I don't know, you know, with the the, the raise and the re-raise. Dusty potentially potentially <laughs> potentially <laughs> looking to tango. Is that right? No. Or seven point five or I think Dusty will be pretty well aware, though, that players aren't really going to be three betting her very frequently, especially not from out of position, and that they actually have a pretty strong hand. I mean, she does have a lot of chips, and she can play a position if she wants to, but uh, I mean, she's got to know that she's up against a very strong range here, and I presume yeah. she's going to just get out of the way after a little bit of thought, but you never know. Dusty, a very aggressive player, of course, could also see this as a potential opportunity 
to apply some pressure, but my guess is she lets this go. Yeah, I mean, I think if she had people still behind her, I think it'd be gone already. But I think it's because it's only her and Bobby she'll think about it. And it's ultimately fair. And there it is. Mm. And we do have some other things. Uh, I'm almost done with it. We do have... <laughs> coming up here in March, we have the Spring Classic favorite. down in Spring. The Spring Classic yeah, so if you're if you're watching down there in Spring, uh, you know, we have the Texas Card House there, and a $600 buy-in, don't forget that. This is for the $400,000 main event. There it is. Spring. Back to the action. Aiden. Vixen mm -hmm. was 4.4 million chips here. Yeah, you didn't tell me about the chat. Oh, <laughs> I was you invested, <laughs> invested in this hand with uh, with Vixens, ready for some fireworks and some some bloodshed. Hmm. Vixen going to raise it up here. Yeah, usually you see these very small raises from out of position get called <coughs> almost 100%. But Alec here, you know, he, he just doesn't have a lot of chips to maneuver yeah. with. Yeah. And with every pay jump equaling many thousands <coughs> of dollars, yeah. yeah, you just don't defend nearly as frequently as you would earlier in the tournament. For sure. We have Billy Gavin in the chat thinking that uh, Dusty oh, is going to take it all. Very confident in that. Well, she does have a lot of chips. It, she does. It is early. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sounds like she got in a little bit of trouble. Another uh, glance at the phone. Uh -oh. Busted. This is twice in the one, once final table. We haven't had anybody. It looks like Dusty's getting a little you know, penalty there. A slap on the wrist. Uh oh. Brittany, let them know. No phones. Let them know, girlfriend. No phones on the table, guys. How long is the penalty for? It's a two hand, two hand penalty. Yeah, two hand penalty. We're getting the word two hand penalty for Dusty there for exposing her phone at the <laughs> final table. That's a no no. Look at Gabe. Gabe here with Ace 10 suited. Hayden wanting to know how many, how many hand penalties she's going to get. The looking to maybe capitalize. I'm trying to see if that's her big line that she's going to miss. Yeah, she'll be in the big blind and small blind next two hands. So that is Ooh. unfortunate. Of course, she can weather that storm quite easily with her stack, but yeah. definitely not what you want. <laughs> She's rattled. <laughs> I don't think so. I, Jacob, I, don't, I don't think Jacob that's it. Jacob she's rattled. <laughs> I think she was just, you know, checking her Instagram or something. <laughs> checking the support. Uh-oh, Dusty Gate. <laughs> oh, boy. Leave, leave Dusty alone. <laughs> I thought that was her hand. I thought it was... Her ace king that was being folded in her big blind. I was like, oh. But it's not. It's actually AJ's. I think Hayden said he, he saw her. He, he ratted her out. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> Brittany, Dustin's, uh, Dustin's on her phone. <laughs> Leave Hayden alone. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, yeah, you can't, uh, can't be on your phone at the final table, Brittany. They no, told them. They did. They yeah. did get a warning. We uh, we heard it. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we were standing there. <laughs> All right. 
Alec had a tough time a little while ago laying down King Five. Looked like he was painful. Now he's. Uh oh. Wow. Wow. There it is. And all in. Yeah, and this is sort of the weird thing that happens when the big blind isn't in their seat. You see players yeah. just kind of yeah. go after spots like this. I believe that's exactly what happened. Yeah, Alec doesn't have the king four, does have the king eight, but it's basically the same version of the story. He just doesn't give AJ credit for a real yeah, hand. He's like, that, yeah. no, there's no one in the big blind spot. He's probably just raised to take it down. But... AJ actually has the goods. Uh, and, Both and players look at gonna this. Stop a pair. Does have some straight equity here on Five? the turn. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be it for Alec, unfortunately. Well, Alec, no stranger to the final table, I'm sure. No doubt we'll see him back again. Congratulations. Well, well played, Alec. And, uh, For sure. He will be taking home. 28,000. 28,000. The seventh place, which means our next payout jumps 35.5. Is that right? There it is. 35.5. And there it is. Dusty Gate. <laughs> These guys are going crazy with the Dusty You've Gate. You've been here before. You've heard the rules, at least the first time. Oh, um, whoa, whoa. Honestly, you can back here. Yeah, we can go back. I didn't know you could get all the It's always hopes and Texas. Yeah. That's why I should have paid attention. Seat Ford found a little sassy. Hey. <laughs> Some people are just stickler for the rules. Brittany, look at this. Hayden yes. with the button. Dusty is back. Let's see. We'll see. Let's. You got your popcorn ready? Let's see what happens here. Hayden with a couple of jacks. Bobby with king, queen suited. Hayden also knows he has people behind him. Mainly Dusty. There you go. Kimberly. Kim coming through again. Dusty and AJ will get out of the way. Wow, look at this flop, mm. Brittany. Look at this flop. <laughs> Hayden's jacks are still good here, but the king, queen, and the clubs, uh, two overs in the flush can draw. Just, he can move one over, that way we have more space in here. Bobby choosing not to continue here with the two overs and the flush draw. I mean, I will remain and Hayden here with a pretty slam dunk spot to bet small and just try to take this one down, fold out the overcard equity, and, you know, potentially get calls from a worse hand. I mean, you could imagine something like ace eight suited, eight nine suited, pocket nines. All of these hands may open and then go ahead and check this flop, but pay off a bet. And indeed, Bobby is going to make the call and hits his wow, hit, hit card hit his on clean. the turn. Uh, I think Hayden could put uh, Bobby on the flush draw there, so with the queen of spades. But uh, Hayden does check. Yeah, no need to build a pot when the overcard peels. Your opponent has already showed some interest in the pot, so the queen of spades, not a good card for you. Hayden just hoping to get the showdown as is. If Bobby were to check again, he may go for a thin value bet, but Bobby, of course, picking up the top pair and the five pairing on the end, not a scary card at all. Happy to go for some value. You think Aaron's going to make the call? Yeah, it looks like he's going to make the call here. Yeah, yeah his hand is just too good. Yeah. He hard blocks the straights, the jack nines of the world, and it's really... Almost impossible for Bobby to have a queen unless he has exactly uh, ace, queen, or king, or king, queen of clubs. Yeah. yeah. There's not many hands. Yeah, I guess there. Move over. Yeah, and then you can move over and you can move over and everybody has space. Mm. Gabe requesting I'm gonna space. Say five, but I'm just going to move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I can move here. Now you start to scan on your eight. So huh. scan here now? You'll scan on your eight. Yeah, but that will give us space for everybody. Yeah, uh, everybody, Brittany's explaining to him that uh, everybody's assigned. 
uh, a seat, even when a space opens up, you know, because with their card reader, it's a, it's assigned to a player. But they have to stay in their seat. I know I'm smelling the shower twice today. Well, they were able to shift Bobby from six over to seven, so I think you can move players um, to a vacant spot. But you know, obviously, given the orientation, there has to be a vacant spot. You know, like immediately in between you and the player next to you, for you to be able to move over and maintain the same orientation. <laughs> I'll be trying to get situated in his new spot. <laughs> Vic's has been extremely quiet. Hasn't had much to <coughs> play with here tonight. Dusty with a suited ace here, Brittany. Dusty going to try and put some of her chips to work here. As you can see, making Bobby a little uncomfortable there, scrambling <laughs> in the seat a little bit. Yeah, when he opens under the gun, he should have a pretty strong range. So Dusty three-betting him is definitely going to raise his eyebrows a little bit. I love her decision to, to go for it here with the ace three of clubs. Definitely a good candidate to put in a, a three bet sort of as a bluff, and she does get Bobby off of those two big cards. I definitely am a fan of her aggressive style of play, for sure. Love to see that out of are the you, ladies, especially at the... Are you, are you taking notes? Are at you? The, maybe, maybe a little bit. Maybe uh, a little bit. I'm liking it. Guys, we're on point, guys we're on let you know that uh, we do have... <laughs> Uh, Easter weekend, so the, the even bigger one is going to be a little one week early here, Brittany. Oh. One week early because of the Easter holiday. Uh -huh. So those of you uh, locally here that do like to play <laughs> that, make sure you do put that on a post-it and on your refrigerator, <laughs> you know. That's what I do. Do you? Yeah. Aiden with, Aiden, Aiden with a couple of red sevens here, Brittany. Now tell me, put the chat back up. You're slacking. <laughs> All down on the job. I'm just invested in the uh, in the hands and some fireworks. I'm ready, especially out of um, Dusty and or Hayden. Gabe has been holding on to his 3.5 million chips during this whole final table. Looks like he's going to make a call here. As Lego in the chat. Wow. What a flop here. Wow. Look at <laughs> this. Clean high for Gabe. Flush for Bobby. Hayden can get away here. I mean, he's going to wisely check. With uh, Bobby's, go ahead, Aaron. Uh, up and down straight draw top pair. Yeah, Gabriel, he's just going to try to bet and get this one through. Just really doesn't yeah. want someone else to, you know, have the betting lead and decide to be like, well, I've got the king of clubs or I have the ace of clubs. I'm going to just bet big and bluff. And so uh, Gabriel is just going to see if he can kind of win this right now. But mm. oh. Yeah, getting called there doesn't feel good, especially when the ace peels off, because even yeah. if your opponent was on the naked ace of clubs, they just improved to a better hand. Now, what, what do you think, uh, Aaron, with, the, with Bobby's check on the flop there? If uh, Gabriel would have hit his straight, you think uh, he thinks he's good? Um, well, 
the check on the flop is pretty much standard because the opener was Hayden um, in position, so it's going to be natural check and flow. So I don't think uh, Bobby checking the flop really changed much. Then Gabriel sort of, you know, he puts out what's called a pro bet, you know, when no one, including the ori original Razor free flop, uh, continues, then he is given the option to kind of put a pro bet out there and see if he can take it down. When Bobby makes the call on the turn, though, that's definitely the spot that should yeah, raise some eyebrows a little bit. Yeah. And it, it's really just the run out, right? Like the ace of spades, just a really bad card. If that was the two of spades, yeah. you know, the three of hearts or something, right? Like that's not as scary of a card and he may be more inclined to find a hero call, but here, like, he just doesn't beat really very much, team, right? Like, like, the hands that he beats <laughs> are yeah. pairs yeah. and flush yeah. draws that are We're turning themselves into a bluff. And, one. you know, he has to ask himself, is Bobby going to do that? <gasps> wow. Gabriel does indeed give him credit for the, uh, the potential bluff there. And he is going to go down to two big blinds after making this call. Wow, wow, wow. Can't see him, buddy. There it is. That will pretty much, that's going to... No, no, she, took, she took his five and put it in his bag. Top one of yeah, yeah. Gabriel's legs there. <clears throat> I mean, uh... Yeah, I mean, it is a tricky spot. You... You know, you never really just want to flop top pair and, and then just like fold up like a lawn chair by the river. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty scary texture out there. He yeah. just uh, gave his opponent credit for enough bluffs. You know, he's a young player, seems pretty aggressive. You know, so, uh, let's look him up, build him a stack, and take a run at first place here. So, I, don't, I don't hate the, the idea there, just yeah. unfortunate. <laughs> now we'll have to try to split up with the two big lines. Yeah, I got better cards. That was great. Now, Dusty going to look down at an ace eight here, Brittany. Mm -hmm. She's going to play. She's going to get involved. Gabe with absolutely nothing to work with. Yeah, he's uh. I have a full cool race. The good thing for him is that he's on the button in this hand, so he'll have a couple more looks before he'll be forced all in from the blind. Yeah. Maybe he can find something a little better than 8-3 and get it in there and try to double, triple, or even quadruple up. Usually when you see a player on something like two blinds, three blinds, you'll actually get a sort of, you know, very regular common occurrence where like two, three, four players will call and just try to bust the player out. You know, it's it's not yeah. overt collusion, but just the nature of the game is like everyone's right. like, well, if we could just like, you know, bust this player, we all make another 7,500, 10K. Yeah. So it just kind of happens that way. But we'll see how it works out. This hand, Dusty, oh. is just going to be opening it up with the two black queens. And again, to your previous comment, I wonder if people are going to think she's essentially trying to like bully and not necessarily put her on a hand here. And there goes Gabe uh, with, a, with an ace. Here we go. He is all in. Thank you. <laughs> all right, guys. Kimberly, Kim was telling you guys to hit the like button. What do you think, Brittany? Um, absolutely. Hey, if Kim hit says the like it, button. Kim says to do it. Uh, yeah. Kim, uh, Kim will There's, not steer you wrong. Vixen, uh, thinking about it, but he will get out of the way. Hayden going to look down at A3 and going to give it back to Brittany without a doubt there. Oh. Hold the phone. <laughs> Maybe Hayden's thinking he's alive? I don't, I don't know. Well, he knows that if he calls, Dusty is very much incentivized to just call. And, um, well, actually, I think it's a dead raise. So he's he's actually given the option uh, so, of just so making this call and knowing that she can't re-raise. She can't right. raise. Okay. And then that's, that's a big pay jump if both of them can, mm -hmm. you know, not gave out. Flop's going to come jack high. Hayden missed everything. 
Dusty's looking great. Dusty with the bet's going to let Hayden know. Hayden's like, okay, you better have it. <laughs> and no backdoors here for Gabe. He needs an ace. Or, an right? ace he does have backdoor Broadway, I suppose. But. Oh, wow, the 4-4. Four, four. And that's it. Game, and that is it. He did hit a four, but it wasn't good enough. Nice playing with you. And there it is. More chips for Dusty. And oh, Gabe is going to finish. Six. Six with a strong. 35 dollars $35,500. That's awesome. Excellent job. I'm telling you. I'm excellent, telling you. excellent. Congratulations, Gabe. Yes. And now we are down to five. Yeah. Down number five. Look at that. I, I got the chat back up all by myself. Look at you. Guys, we're up to 800 views. We appreciate it. Uh, Kim says everybody should that hit the like button. I so right I, I wouldn't want to make you. her mad, would you? Smash the like. Say hi in the chat. Yeah. Tell us who you're pulling for. There you go. All that good stuff. Got another oh, level Dixon. up here, 300k for the big blind. So, yeah, every time those go up, the sh stacks get shallower. And Vixen's here now on 15 big blinds effective on the button, pocket threes. Yeah, Vixen's, uh, he hasn't had uh, much to do about anything. He's been, I mean, card dead the whole way. Haven't seen much for him. And uh, there's the 50 from Kim, as Kim, promised. Kim She's coming a through again. Lady of her word. But we knew that. We knew that. Kim is fabulous. She is. If we haven't mentioned that. <laughs> What's well, worth mentioning again? I said it's worth mentioning again. Uh, well, again and again. Kim is fabulous, okay. and we love her. And I'm sure we'll have more to say about her before the session is done. How's right. that? Dusty's got King Jack here. She's very much interested in Vixen's 3.6 chips. Million chips. She'd probably be even more interested if she knew it was pocket threes that she was up against. Yeah, it's interesting. It's almost a little um, like suspicious that he's opening so large, right? Like not quite 3x, but certainly well over 2x open committing mm -hmm. a lot of his stack but not going all in for the 15 blinds it it kind of screams like i've got a really good hand ace of king something like that and i want you to call uh let's build this pot and we can get all the chips in you know by the turn so dusty she's wondering if she should even see a flop here i think hmm. i mean the flip side of it is that he's just like raising kind of biggish and not going all in because his hand isn't that strong and that's actually the case here but uh, Dusty really putting some thought in. I think she's going to make the call. Looks like she's 75% there. What do you think, Brittany? There it is. <laughs> she's making the call. She's there three betting, is. actually. Well, she raised. Oh, I just heard it. I didn't even look. I just heard the chips. I saw the hand motion yeah. and heard the chips. There it is, a raise. She's applying the pressure. Absolutely, Vixen's definitely sweating and squirming. You know, and I, I think the fact that he hasn't he hasn't played many hands might have been a big factor for her because she knows, you know, maybe he's just being extremely tight, trying to ladder up. I mean, we all know because we can see that he's been card dead like everything. But Dusty. Yeah, Dust, Dusty's a very experienced tournament player as well. She plays all the big series here in Texas. Um, you play enough of these spots, not necessarily even just at the final table, but it folds to a player with a middling stack, you know, 15 to 20 big blinds, and they do this kind of, you know, big raise from the button. Mm -hmm. It, it kind of starts to build up a, a history over time where you kind of recognize they don't just always have a really strong hand. They just want the blinds to fold so that they can pick up that additional, wow. those additional chips. Yeah. So Dusty here, I mean, the interesting thing here is that she didn't just go all in, right? Like, why choose the in-between size? And I don't know, we'd have to ask her, but she's effectively saying, 
we could play for all of it. Because if he goes yeah, all in, he's in. never going to fold for the extra point eight million. So there it is. There's the all in. What's the count? Dusty wants to count. Uh, oh, I thought she said call. No, she says she wants she wants to count. Okay, I guess it's a little bit more for her, 2.5, but still, yeah, you can't really 3-bet and fold here, I don't think. Yeah, I don't, I don't foresee a fold, for sure. And AJ, uh, AJ and Hayden, they don't look like it right now, but they are very interested in what's going on right now. And, uh, All right. yeah, guys, if you can, Kim, Kimmy's asking for a chip count at the end of his hand, so if you guys back there. I know those guys are back there taking care of that. I'll, I'll put it up for her. Big spot here for Vixens. If he can hold, he's going to chip up to 9 million. That'll be 30 big blinds. So, yeah, the 15 bigs going in the middle for both players. Dusty here Can't looking show. to hit the overcard, and we do know that Hayden folded a king. Ace high flop. Threes are still good. That brings some counterfeit opportunities, mm. but it's no ace, king, or jack. Or four, even. Mm, Vixen with the stand up. <laughs> so there it is. Vixen will double up. Do you have any, any interest in looking at numbers? or? Hmm. Interesting question. Oh. Do you guys have any interest in looking at numbers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can. Right mm. okay. Was that a knot right now from AJ? I want to go take a smoke break. So here we have Aiden bringing up chop conversation. They said we could only stop the clock for one time. Yeah, one time. You know, and Brittany, with, with this kind of money, you know, I mean, Hey, normally on Saturdays, I'm not really interested in the chapel with this kind of money. This is this is big money. Substantial, absolutely. And uh, you know, I mean, even in shop at this. Yeah, I I definitely uh, you know I mean I. Uh, great for everyone involved, but I don't yeah. know. Even with um, Vixen's full double, is he still short stacked here? Dusty's going to look down in a small blind, going to look down at 8-9 of diamonds here, Brittany. Yeah, I believe after the double up for Vixens there, that actually puts Hayden as the shortest stack. But he has 20 big blinds. So, uh, yeah, AJ there, I guess, basically uh, 30 big blinds. So he and Hayden has the, uh, the two shortest stacks, followed by Vixens and Bobby. But yeah, Dusty coming off of the big chip lead there, dumping some of those chips or moving some of those chips rather over to Vixens, you know, maybe inspiring Hayden to say, hey, well, you're not, you know, the big dog anymore. Maybe we could talk about this. Um, but I don't know. Everybody's a little bit different, right? Like as to whether or not they want to try to negotiate, you know, five handed or when the chips are even out or you know, maybe just keep playing as long as you've got more than 30, 40 big blinds, right? It's like you feel safe and maybe somebody else is going to bust for long and you don't need to negotiate to ladder up. Yeah. And it's still so early. I feel like we just started, so it's still early enough. Everybody's well rested, so the show must go on. Everyone just has an ace here in this hand. We haven't seen much out of AJ, other than his decline to chop. Uh, well, <laughs> AJ with 8.7 million in chips. Bobby climbing the ladder here with 17.3 in chips. Rich is saying it's too early for chop talk. Mark, I probably would have folded them two, the threes. I'm talking about the threes. Flop's going to come king high with two clubs, Brittany. Give Vixen a gut shot there. Straight draw. Yeah, AJ calling from the small blind. That usually does sort of tend to be a lot of Broadway sort of connected cards, maybe some small to middling pairs that don't want to just rip it all in for 30 big blinds. Um, 
So, yeah, a little bit of a, you know, kind of cross your fingers, put the bet out there and hope that your opponent doesn't call with the yeah. ace 10, but he gets it through. <laughs> JD saying pizza to everybody. We had some pizza earlier. That's how we started yes. our evening. <laughs> Adam's saying he would put his kid's college fund on Bobby. That's a, that's oh, a bold statement. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, you know the Queen 10 here. Yeah, people were talking about Hayden having sort of the trickiest spot at the table to start the table. Now yeah. he very much has the worst spot at the table because chips have kind of rearranged themselves to his left and the players to his right have been eliminated. So, yeah, he's, he's pretty much opening into the big stacks every time. Vixen's here with a dusty ace in the big blind does just have a min call and makes it flop gonna come six high with two clubs here not much for anybody Let's see what Hayden wants to do he'll check King, still no help to anybody. Vixen's ace still good here, Brittany. Let's see if he's going to try to take it down or bet into Hayden. Which seems a little ambitious, seeing as he just got, just got those chips. Pretty interesting decision to lead on the king here from Vixens. <laughs> Doesn't trust his ace high to be good if he checks and faces a bet, so going to power his way through, and Hayden's out of the way. Vixen's finally making some progress here. Always a good feeling to scoop in some chips after you've been so card dead for the entire process. <laughs> so my boy Richie uh, here. Baseball season about ready, about ready to start. He's getting a little love. Shout out to the Red Sox there. You like that? Mm -hmm. Dusty here going to look down at a couple of sevens. See how she wants to play this. <laughs> Definitely putting in a and a little raise out for some revenge, possibly. Uh, Bobby here oh. going to look down at a couple of aces. He's going to raise it up. Vixen, under the small blind. I don't see him making a call here, Brittany, do you? Uh, I would imagine not. I would venture to say no. Vixen's going to fold. Hayden. With one of Bobby's aces. We'll get out of the way. And see what uh, Dusty wants to do with these two sevens. Going up against Bobby's 15.3 million chips.
looks like she's at least going to make a call here. Ooh. But looks like she might be. Yeah, that's a four bet. Yeah, that's a that's a raise. Yikes. See how Bobby wants to play this. Yeah, I don't think Bobby should have any five bets here. Uh, four bet really strong. Yes, Dusty may just have kings or queens, and you could get all the money in right now. But if she ever just has like ace queen or something like what she has right now, re raising, putting in the fifth bet, and allowing her to fold would be unfortunate. He is going to put in a fifth bet. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. It is a call. He, he put yeah. enough chips out there that it looked like it was going to be a raise, but he's just trying to call. So here's a flop. Jack high with two spades. Dusty's first to act here. She's got to know Bobby's pretty strong here, Aaron. Yeah, Bobby should definitely have a very strong range. Um, the raise, her four bet was quite small. I think very reasonable. She doesn't need to go huge uh, if she is going to four bet. But my goodness, she is going to continue for a big size. Four million here on the flop. Half pot. And I, I'm not sure what she's Trying to get to fold for this size, I think. Ugh. Yeah, quick call from Bobby. My goodness. Bobby, he's just going to make the call here. This board is looking scarier and scarier for yeah. a pair of aces, however. Yeah. But Dusty can't be loving it either. Yeah, I mean, uh, and uh, this is going to be interesting to see how this plays out here. Uh... I mean, uh, I'm very interested to see what Dusty does. She's first to act here. Yeah, stack to pot ratio is well under one. I mean, Bobby has like a two-thirds pot size stack remaining. And Dusty here, who has basically repped a monster all the way down. Bobby's starting with the birds, but King Jack 10 on board. All of those big pocket pairs outside of Queens have made a set. Dusty here deciding if she wants to go for it. The only bet that makes any sense is all in, but God, to do it with two sevens here is just not something that mere mortals would consider. <laughs> now she's she's asking she's asking him how much he has. Now he doesn't have to answer what he he did. I heard him ask tell her. Mallory informing the chat that Dusty's wife chopped for first yesterday in a ladies event, which was very cool. Ah, uh, Dusty's gonna Dusty's shut it down. She did check. Let's see what Bobby wants to do here. I mean, it's still a scary board. I mean, Dusty checked, but it's still. I think the check back makes a lot of sense. You'd hate to see a, you know, like a nine or something peel off, but there's not a ton of those. The backdoor diamonds do come in, but yeah, very few hands that you would expect to be up against um, that have improved now. And I think after checking the turn, Dusty is just going to have to continue with the give up and check once more, but... You never know. She could <laughs> sort of change her mind in uh, between here. But I think Bobby should be feeling pretty good about the way things have, have finished off here. Check. Check, check. Check, wow. check. Oh, he, he does show go. the aces. <laughs> nice hand. Wow. And we've got a new chip leader and a big it one did. at that. Yeah. yeah. Aces and kings and queens must be nice down there. Mm. <laughs> 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 Oof. 
Maybe you had it. <laughs> Both of them thinking the other potentially had it. Yeah, it, it was a scary board for. Uh... Well, I'm glad for one that neither one of them went home there. I'm ready to see more out of uh, Dusty and Bobby. I know the chat is ready to see more out of uh, out of young Bob. Well, Bobby does have somewhat of a fan base here. Yeah, we got Next Gen Poker in the chat. Hey, what's going on, guys? Absolutely yeah. rooting for the Bobby show, are those boys? <laughs> Bobby with the seven, eight of diamonds. Okay. Oh. Vixen here with a couple of kings. I think it's the first time he's had a picture card since he's been at the final table. <laughs> he did have a pair of threes, remember? He did, yeah. and that worked out very well for him. Let's see if uh, the kings can do him the same justice. Right now, at the, he's trying to think, what's the best way to handle this? What, what, how can I get the most chips here? <laughs> He wants some of Bobby's newly acquired chips here. Just a call, a sneaky, sneaky wow. little call. He's got bad intentions. I don't know if I, I don't know. I, I might have played that differently. But you know what? He's at the final table. I'm not. So. Those that uh, can't play <laughs> commentate or something yeah. like that. I don't know. What do you think, Aaron? <laughs> Well, I played this event and I finished 69th, so I think you can play and commentate. But what are you know, doing? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Fair see, enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Hayden's got a king ten of diamonds here, and uh, he likes to hand, but he doesn't like the the action in front of him. Dusty getting right back at it here with queen ten. Three-way action to the flop here. Dusty does hit a 10. Vixen's kings are still good. Bobby does have a, a gut shot. Yeah, it's tricky when he gets called in two spots. This board going to uh, interact with his opponent's calling range pretty heavily. But he is going to put the the small size out there, 800k and the, what 2.7, so a little with, under with, one third. With the uh, with Bobby betting here, and Vixen is going to do something other than fold. Uh, I think Dusty might be able to get away with the uh, with the Jack being out there. She might be able to get away with get away from his hand here. I think. And she will. And yeah, this is going to happen fairly regular, given that the uh, the board is going to interact with your opponent's calling range so much. He's still going to make the call, given that it's a small raise. But wow, top set for Vixen yeah. on the turn. Vixen feeling very comfortable now. Wow. Trying to figure out how many of those two point, uh, 22.7 million chips of bobbies he can get here. <laughs> and so Andy seems to think Brittany's upset with somebody. No, she's just, uh, she's in the zone. I think it's safe to say there's a lot of, you know, Money on the line. It's not time to be, you yeah, know, playing around. I think she's, you know, trying to make sure she's paying attention because the players are obviously taking longer to consider their actions. So yeah. she's trying to pay attention to make sure she doesn't miss anything. So everybody's just, I think, very much in the zone. We talked to Brittany before uh, we got started, and she was in the zone. Yeah, ready to go. 
Yeah, awkward stack size there to choose the sort of appropriate bet size. Vixen settles on 2.8 million, leaving himself five and a half behind. If Bobby calls, Todd's going to go up to, you know, over All 12. In. Oh, wow. Did Bobby, did Bobby really yeah. just do that? Wow. Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, max pressure here from Bobby. I mean, I mean you Vix have has got to make yeah. the, uh, If I get beat by the straight, uh, I flop the. I mean, he, he, even if he does have the straight. If he folds, I'm going to throw this headset. I, I uh, don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. Yeah, this, this is like some next level uh, bluffery right here from Bobby. You usually don't see players go for this. Maybe if they do, they've got something like. Queen 10, Queen Jack, where it's like pair in a straight draw, and they're like, I don't know, I just got to put you to the test here because I've got so much equity. Bobby here is doing it with, I mean, maybe his gut shot to the to the 9 is good, and maybe it's not, right? Like if his opponent just has yeah. like King Queen, the 9's not even good, and he's just drawing dead, but he's going to put him to the test. Goes all in, and Vixen's here with 5.5 million. I mean, the pot's so big, can he even fold? Is it conceivable? I don't I don't know. Hey, I like women. Jimmy in the, in the chat <laughs> making a good point here. Hayden would have turned two pair. He's kicking himself right now, thinking, "Ugh." But yeah. when he sees, I it, mean, you know, either either kicking himself or truly invested and confused. Well, he, he's definitely interested in, yeah. in who, who what they have right now because yeah. he's like, oh, "I've got. I would have had two pair. Oh, maybe it's a good lay down. Maybe you know." Um, but obviously, uh, Vixen's got him. Got to be, but be... He, he definitely wants to see. Is this going to be another stand up and call by Vixens? I mean, I, you know, I I mean, he's. Even if you let, let's say that Bobby just turned his hand over and it was Queen Nine of Hearts, right? Like he's got this yeah. rate. Yeah. You're you're drawing to a full house, right? Yeah. If you knew that you still might be getting the right odds to call five and a half yeah. million and with how much has already gone into the pot right like yeah exactly you, that's probably the math that he's doing right now and basically coming to the conclusion that like it's borderline if i knew he had the straight and then if you add in any bluffs or maybe even like set of tens or set of jacks or something that is like, okay, you know, let's, uh, well, he, let's he, check he, the turn and see what happens. He bets, all right, jam on him, right? Like, you beat that hand. I mean, he's he's also well aware of how many, you know, the chip stacks on the table. Uh, you know, he doesn't, uh, he's he wants to ladder up if he can. He doesn't, I mean, this is a lot of money. These guys are playing for a lot of money. Uh, and I, I think that's absolutely you know. it for Vixens. Like, there yeah. is so much money. And, there it is. There it is, the that's call. Why, I mean, yeah. it, he he, he yeah. knew he had to make the call. He just wanted to think it through, you know. And that's and like, absolutely fair. And definitely, like I say, it's, this is a lot of money. Uh, these guys, it's not a three. It's not a one-three game out there where you know you got three hundred dollars on the line. This is a lot of money. Uh, and the two of hearts on the river. Vixen will take it down. <laughs> oh, I misclicked. I thought I was making a two million preflop, and I ran out. That's what I thought. Oh. I was like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, there it is. Okay. I thought he was going to go fair. in. No, induced. <laughs> and Vix will make. We'll get the double up. And now he is the chip leader. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. 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 Yeah. From being yeah. so stagnant yeah. earlier. Yeah, and this is you know. I mean, I, mean I, I talk about it all the time. You know the. the the patience, and yeah. it's the, it's the one thing I I, I still have trouble with uh, is being able to be patient. And I, you know, I think in order for me to be a great poker player, Brittany, I have to stop playing the cash games. If I stop playing the cash games, I just you know, you, you think at 58 I'd be a patient man. I know how to be patient, but ah, uh, anyway, um, nice hand for Vixen there. Uh, At nice come up for Vixens. I mean, yeah, honestly, yeah. just truly staggering. And he is the chip leader with 23, over 23 million at this point. Back to Bobby. Guys, we do have over a thousand people watching. We do appreciate that. Thank you. Very cool. Hand number 31. A lot of action here. 
And a lot of money involved here. Hayden going to look down at ace eight and throw it away. Dusty with the six five in a small blind will throw it away. AJ with AJ. There you go. We'll see a flop. What a killer flop, Brittany. <laughs> or seven deuce. Bobby's going to lead out. And uh, KJ call. wants to see a turn. Oh. Yeah, pretty much the best card in the deck there for AJ. Top pair, top kicker, not flush draw. Quick check back, though, on the yeah. turn. Bobby pretty well shutting this one down. Joe Bo check in the chat. Wow, Bobby making the hero call there for a million. Wow, wow. And 300,000, 1.3 million going the way of AJ on that river there. Doesn't give him credit for a real hand. And there it is. Nine high is good. And, uh -uh. Guys, just, just to let you know, we are down to the final five. And you can see the money that we're playing here for. Uh, 180,000 in first place, 125, 40. Uh, this is this is big money. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even for fifth at this point, for 46, almost 47,000. Vixens. Look at this again. Patience paying wow. off. Kings again. Look at that. He's composed. <laughs> I don't know if I could be that composed. Pocket Kings, two out of three high. For $50,000, oh, you don't think you could do At I'm, minimum at uh, this point. You know. Basically a min raise to Bobby here, starting the hand with 35 bigs, not quite 40. He's going to make the call. 9-7 connected enough. And oh. he's going to flop a straight draw. It's going to be the over pair for Vixen's backdoor heart draw for both players. Third continue here from Vixens and yeah. Bobby shouldn't really be going anywhere. Doesn't have quite the hand to be raise, uh, raising as a bluff, I yeah. wouldn't say. So just going to peel. Picks up a pair. A pair of sevens here. Bobby gets to see the river for free, and yeah, pretty scary card out there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, see what happens here. Bobby reaching for some chips here. Vixen. I mean, 300,000. Uh, I mean, I see him making a call here, right? You gotta make the call, Minimum. right? Minimum, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, he, he, I don't think he benefits at all from a raise. This, this is just an odd choice from Bobby. You usually see these one big blind bets when you have a hand that can reasonably get called by worse. But like... Yeah, he's, he's looking at Bobby's bet there. It's like, why is he betting? I mean, yeah, it's one big blind, right? Like, yeah. yeah but yeah. raising, given the ace on the yeah. end, is... Also wow, he's going gonna, he's gonna to raise it up. I see that. I, I yeah. would have just made the call and say, "Show me your ace," but maybe that's what Bobby was doing. Maybe he was just trying to, yeah, he was just trying to prevent. Classy play by uh, Vixens. Showing. Uh, don't don't let 
Don't let Lego hear you say oh that. Oh my gosh. Lego, get on you I now. No, get, we've, on, he'll get on you. We've been over this. <laughs> we've been over this. It was polite. Bobby's been going through it the last couple of hands, I think. Don't come for me, Lego. Don't start. <laughs> We're having a nice time here. The viewership up to 1,048. Everybody turning in to this. Uh, I mean, I think it's worth Final it. Final table here. X1 action. We're here. Hayden, Aaron's here. Hayden getting <laughs> kind of card dead here lately. True. He needs a little... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Aces are flying now. Dusty going to look down see how she wants to play this. Here comes Lego with the good old scolding. <laughs> no showing. No showing. I know. I know. All right. Bobby with the nice 10 here. Yeah, you know, Madison, I, you know, <laughs> that's the way I keep an eye on Vixen. He keeps getting those kings over there. Uh, stop showing your seat, seat, seat. Stop showing your hand. Yeah, yeah. Looks like Bobby's just going to make the call here. Vixen will throw away this 6 3, even though it is suited. He's not going to show anybody. He's just going to muck it. Is he? He's not going to show. No. I was thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's really not much more than one big blind to see if flop. He's got a hand that either, you know, connects in a big way or makes some sort of crappy little pair that he can easily throw away and not lose any sleep over. He's the chip leader after all. So I don't know that he's just folding this. You know, you might be right here. Come on, Bobby. Let's get this money. <laughs> get this money. I mean, he's, he's trying. Oh, wow. He's like a raise. My goodness. Nope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Dixon's feeling a little invincible, maybe, after All the last right. few hands. Dusty looking to take back her chip lead here. She's like, okay. I know she's she's feeling excited. She got aces sure. over here. <laughs> There's nothing better than being five headed at the final table. You got aces and somebody raises you yeah. from the blind. You're like, yeah. this is what we've been waiting for. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she, you know, yeah. and again, if it was me, I'd be jumping up and down. And yet, all we got was a slight yeah. smirk. This is why they make the final table, Brittany, and, and we sit in here. I mean. Us, so, not. So, sounds like the blinds are going up. Next hand. And Dusty with a decision deck, about whether or not she just calls and invites Bobby to potentially yeah. come along. I mean, he's he's very unlikely to make the call, but depending on his hand strength, um, he would be getting a good price. It's awkward to raise here, but at the same time, like, why not, right? You don't yeah. really want to take on two additional or two, on two opponents uh, with the aces. Maybe just min click it up here or something. I mean, let's see. Let's see what Dusty goes for. Looks like he goes, uh, just calling. It's like an Never expedition mind. is followed <laughs> by Bobby. She's raising. Yeah, she raised. Bobby folded and literally got out of there, stepped yeah, away. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, you see that in Bobby's seat right there, the little crystal thing? Can you yes, see it there? Barely, but yeah, behind his stack. Not yeah, behind, his, behind his yes. stack. We'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see, but uh, I'll explain what that is. All the players got one. Vixen's at this point is realizing he has stepped in it. Yeah, he's thinking, you know, maybe I should have just called <laughs> to see a flop. <laughs> Kim, she cashed down. She can't take it. She can't stay focused. I understand, Kim. I understand. <laughs> AJ requesting to see our faces. Thank you. He says we're the real stars. 
Well, I, I disagree, but not but not by much. Well, uh, where's this? I didn't, I'm, I'm interested in the hair. Where's this? Where? Well, is that sweet? I think so. We'll touch back to that after this hand because this is. Well, I'm curious as far as what, what Vixen's thinking about right here. I mean, presumably he's just trying to save face and make it seem like he's not three betting with absolute garbage, but but <laughs> yeah, but uh, but you know that, that he could have done that you know thirty seconds ago. He could be actually thinking about doing something crazy here. I mean, he's. <sighs> All right. Well, it's definitely gone past the point of uh, novelty and into yeah. the realm of time to let the six high go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron's not amused with this. Neither is Adam. Adam's like, yo, you're ruining it. Yeah. My father would have a saying about this. Go or get off the pot. I was going to say, know. I don't know if that's yeah, yeah, on air appropriate. I'll keep it, I'll keep it clean. And there it is. Okay, round of applause. <laughs> Let's see. From the rail. Now, Lego would point out to you right there, Brittany, that she did not show. She did not show. There you go, Lego. That she was for you. She did not show. There it is. Dusty's no show. Guys, appreciate you tuning in. And Brittany, we have over a thousand people watching, guys. Uh, special Monday night uh, edition here. We have the spring event, main event, final table. Guys, we have Hayden and C2 Dusty. Seat three, AJ, seat four, Bobby, Bobby and seat, what number is that, six or seven? He's seven well, now. He's relocated, so he's re <laughs> tough to say. <laughs> no, and seven, Vixen over here, the chip leader. Unforeseen, for sure. Who played at six, three clubs very well. <laughs> well, maybe not very he, well. He did something with it. That's <laughs> <laughs> is this how they play in Dallas? Caesar wants to know. Well, um, yeah, actually. <laughs> I was looking for uh, a rabbit hunt there. He was. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Go ahead. No, CP no. See would have no. hit. See would have hit. Let's kill more time. No, no, no. Well, now he's got 8 5 offsuit in a small blind. Um, AJ, we have Mitch, my dad, uh, myself, and we have Aaron. And I think Aaron is with us uh, remotely from Austin, right? That's correct. Yes. And I think it's safe to say that we're having a blast. Damn right. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, you know, final table. Brittany put the extra makeup on with the glittery uh, what the eyelashes, eyelashes there. Eyelashes, yeah. We'll we'll give you guys a sneak peek a little later right, on, well, maybe. Hayden is all in here with the king three of clubs, and we'll take it down. And I am uh, baffled by the amount of time that it took him to fold eight high there. I think a uh, four-minute tank was in order, but somehow... Yeah. No, I'm yeah. kidding. I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Something tells me we're going to have more more tanking in the future. Well, yeah. Hayden uh, ending his drought there it was uh, long overdue taking down a pot. It was it was a little forced, but I like it. You know, uh, AJ with the four deuce offsuit. Allison saying that Kim needs a cocktail. I think somebody. <laughs> I wish we could. Yeah, somebody here be, should yeah. actually get Kim a cocktail. I think that would yeah, be a nice gesture. A shot. <laughs> yeah. A double. Martini. You know. Well, something. I mean, uh, you know, Hayden and Kim, they they love poker. They, you know, it's it's huge and. Uh, this is not the first final table. I mean, Hayden has been on the, the WPT, you know, and uh, but it's it, you know it's exciting. It's definitely exciting, you know. Yeah, and Hayden. And there is, I mean, him jamming the uh, the king three. I mean, some people are going to look at that and be like, "What on earth is he doing?" But. Remember, he's the short stack. He's yeah. well under 20 big blinds. When At the time that he shoved all in there, he had, it was like 15 or 14 big blinds, something like that. Um, getting raised <laughs> by the chip leader. No, you're you're definitely yeah. looking at that spot as a profitable jam. Here, of course, another good profitable spot. With the level up, he's, you know, starting the hand with, uh, what, 16 big blinds, something like that. Just 
rip it all in there, you know. You're not looking to play pots out of position against someone who's got you covered by a mile, uh, short stacked. You just you get it in there and hope to just get a fold. I mean, yeah. For him in this spot, right, he literally can't go wrong. Dusty folds, he wins. Dusty calls, he's ahead. It's amazing. Yeah. Or they chop. Yeah, that'll happen quite often. <laughs> <laughs> These yeah. two hands going. Could definitely foresee that if Dusty makes the call here. I mean, Hayden can be jamming uh, substantially lower than just, you know, bigger aces and pocket pairs. I mean, King Jack, Queen 10 suited. I mean, those hands are certainly in his range, but Dusty with the worst ace. I mean, yeah, it's. I think you just fold and move on to the next one. Always nice to be in a spot where you can knock a player out, but you know, this one just doesn't really Re feel that good. Rebecca in the chat. Interesting comment. Kim's going to start giving $50 to a player that calls the clock on Bobby now. Oh, jeez. All right, I'm sorry, not Bobby. Vixen. Vixen. It's a tight fold, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Handsome Andy says Kim needs to give out fifty dollars four more times. There you go. I think she'd be okay with that. Sounds like uh, Andy is Team Hayden. Who's your ticket? And Hayden will take it down again. If you say three diamonds, I would fucking snap off. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Bobby with an ace deuce out of position to throw it away. How good you run, you make me nervous. Yeah, what? I, I mean, I had an ace. You got, you know, it's tough. Have a swift raise by Vixens. And I'll find out what you have really in a minute, so. Another interesting spot. This time, Hayden doesn't have the short stack really i mean he still is the shortest stack but he's got enough to play so he's not just gonna <laughs> stuff it in there with every old ace now well when he said that i figured it was really bad so i was like okay my, my ace is probably good <laughs> i mean you're never that far ahead there like even if i'm jamming you know for all my cards or whatever yeah, yeah. Still, not a great plot for ej or yeah, dixon's here yeah. Appreciate those kind words, Preston. I'm happy to be here with you guys. But I'm shoving high A. I definitely want you to call. Man, I'm shoving any A. Wow. Check raise from AJ with Jack 8 0 here. Yeah, but. Wow, indeed. Check raise from the chip leader. Wow. I mean, why not, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all we can say here. Just why not? He'll take it down. Guys, here we are in Dallas, Texas, Texas Card House. We have uh, the final table. We got a couple of locals here, Brittany. Uh, Texas uh, Card House Room favorites here, Hayden Thank you so and much. Uh, Dusty. You have Bobby over here. He's got a lot of fans here in the chat. Uh -huh. um, I believe AJ said, is he from Texas, uh, but not down from Lubbock, I think is what he said. That's yeah. correct. And Vixen, did we catch where he was from? Um, he did not say. Well, he's got a couple of queens, so he's from Queenville. <laughs> With a couple of queens here. The daddest yeah, joke I'm that's, sorry. Been, that was, that that's wasn't been my, in this chat. That wasn't my best. <laughs> in weeks. <laughs> I got a whole pocket full of stuff. I haven't brought anything out. I just left it in my pocket. That wasn't good. It was okay. Yeah, it was weak. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he does have a couple of queens. And everybody and else like, has a deuce, so they yeah, all fall. Yeah. He shows what again. <laughs> He Please. shows again. <laughs> the show police. Lego, where are you at? One of them says queens. One of them says queen deuce. I don't know. I'm going to go queens. Maybe it was deuce queens. I don't know. So, so apparently Vixen showed Bobby. The other three wanted to know, and apparently uh, one of them said pocket queens. The other one said queen deuce. That's funny. 
<laughs> the dad jokes are never old. Antoine liked your joke, dad. so that's you got one. <laughs> well, Hayden's got a couple of nines. Let's see what he wants to do. Five-handed in this situation. Nines should be pretty good, but we'll see. Uh, we're going to raise the 700,000. Vixen has a, a suited ace here and 20.8 million chips. Looks like he's going to go into the tank. See, the old poker jokers are pulling for Hayden. Yeah, Vixen has definitely leaned towards the more aggressive side of things. Ace five suited one of those hands that you know, everybody kind of talks about. You see people showing it after four betting and getting it through. And yeah, he is going to play it, but just as a call. Okay, all right. Oh, look at this. Hayden flopping a boat. Which brings me to the story that I never finished with, with Kim. Yes. Quick check from Vixen's in flow. Hayden here, I think, with a very standard check back. Most of the time, if he does no. bet, it should be very small. And indeed, he goes just okay. about one big blind. Honestly, in this situation, with the stacked pot ratio where it's at, about two and a half, would have preferred a check. Let the chip leader sort of attack you, maybe improve to a hand that you're just always beating with flop mode. But he is going to bet a blind and see if he can build this pot up a little bit. And Vixen is going to let the ace high go. It's a little bit of a catastrophe there for Hayden, but he will win the pot nonetheless. Anything you can catch me up on? Yeah, I'm definitely more of a fan of the Have check there from it? Hayden as well. I'm making the right fold. Trying to let Vixen's right catch up for sure is Those definitely the play. Oh, what's up, man? How are you? How are you doing? Just like we were just sitting here playing poker, like on a Antoine's saying Vixen must be from Tanksville. There you go. There's his retort to your. <laughs> his is better than mine. It was... he, he, he must be younger than me. <laughs> Slightly better. <laughs> yes. Vixen here with a 9-3 off. Hmm. <laughs> and a check back from Hayden. Heads up action here to the flop. Blind against blind. Hayden's king is good, but he'll check. Brilliant turn card here for Vixens. A king high here actually going to be good a fair portion of the time for Hayden. But he is just going to let this go. Doesn't want to go heroing across the turn and river if he faces another bet. So he lets it go. Vixen's shows yet again. <laughs> See what else we got going on? Let's uh give a little shout out to Poker Alice here in a little bit at the end of this hand. <laughs> Let me do it right now. Guys, if you're down in the uh, Houston area, Poker Atlas, like I said, is at it again. Coming up in April, they got a little tournament event down there at the Million Dollar Guarantee, over a million dollars guarantee. Right, Brittany? That is what it looks like. Okay. April 10th to the 22nd, I believe. I won't be attending. Emily and I should be Stepping out of town here uh, around the, the 11th. Hmm. She wants to go back to the East Coast for a little bit. Who doesn't? 
A lot of people don't. <laughs> Do they have a service button or anything? Hmm, cocktails. So why was it drank? Uh oh, we have an all in. Alright, Hayden go Hayden going all in with the King Nine of Clubs. Dusty's gonna get out of the way to see what Bobby wants to do here with the sixes. He's gonna to wanna to count. Yeah, one of those situations where you're flipping at best and way behind. Usually at worst. I mean, Hayden is not on a dusty stack here, right? Like, he's two big blinds away from uh, having 20. So this is an 18 big blind jam. Calling off with the pocket sixes, he would be down to it's a handful of blinds, three or four blinds, something like that. Definitely a pressure spot for Bobby. And yeah. Is he willing to just put his entire tournament on the line with the hopes that his opponent turns over two overcards that aren't paired, I should say. I mean, Hayden could have, uh, I mean, pocket tens here, pocket nines. <laughs> Even pocket eights, right? I mean, you name a hand that's better than sixes, yeah. he could have it. Oh, and yeah. certainly Greens, all of the just, you know, overcards like what he's got have very close to 50% oh. equity against his hand. Well, there, is Kim, there is Kim in the background. And in the chat. <laughs> she uh, she sees Aiden is all there in. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I felt your uh, your energy from here, yeah. Kim, because that yeah. was, <laughs> yeah, it was a little nerve wracking for, uh, for you and Hayden, for sure. Brittany went 1,277 entries uh, for this event. Yes, that sounds about right. Down to the final five. Final five. Final. Five. Lots of uh, hard work, lots of patience, lots of focus for these guys. Very impressive all the way around. Uh oh. Hayden's turn. The button, the kings. Hungry for some chips. Got RJ Dupree joining us in the chow. What's up, man? Welcome. RJ. Hello, hello. Hayden's going to raise it up to 700,000. AJ here with Ace 10 also will make the call. And seven deuce seven, Brittany. Mm. AJ's first act that he will check. See what Hayden wants to do with these kings here in the button. Mm. Yeah, Ace that 10 out. here, definitely a strong enough hand to continue against a button open range, so don't fault AJ for making the call here at all. This uh, hand definitely not. still should be pretty good, but Ooh. a check back from Hayden gives AJ yeah. now top pair. Top pair with the 10. And he's going to value own himself to the tune of 1.1 million because Hayden quickly makes the call. There it is. Hayden will take it down. <laughs> and he's going to trade spots with AJ for the bottom of the totem pole. Or perhaps, uh, I guess, Bobby probably our shortest stack if we think about what he's working with over there, about maybe six million or so. We'll get the chip counts up here in a moment. But I think it's, yeah, Hayden leapfrogging up into the third position as far as the chip stacks go. Well, the chips have definitely been moving around the table today. Uh, Dusty came in with a huge lead. Hayden uh, missed in second, but uh, 
ships have moved moved around a lot here. Quite a bit, for sure. Yeah. Dusty's been kind of quiet. As has AJ. I and mean, we've seen a little bit out of AJ, but not much. Yeah, a lot of action from Bobby and Vixen lately. Hayden's been getting in there. Bobby will defend his big blind, 10-8 off suit, and he's going to flop an up and down straight draw. Vixen's not much better here. Ace high is best, but not by much. He's going to continue for a half pot, definitely not trying to keep this pot small. Probably should make the call here and see a turn. Nine, a dime is on the turn. Really bad card for Vixens to continue barreling on. Should really have a lot of nines that bet this flop for half pot. Four million in the middle. Bobby five and a half behind. Is Vixens going to keep telling a story or is he going to check back? Check back it is. And it's a brick on the end. Let's see there. now if Bobby can find a way to win this hand. It's right now 10 high. Definitely not going to get the job done if we get to showdown. Needs to bluff at this. And he's got a little bit more than the pot in his stack. I think you're right, Aaron. Bobby trying to figure out what he's got to bet to get Vixen to go away. He's thinking 2.5 should be it. Yeah, two-thirds pot-sized bet here. Honestly, probably couldn't go smaller. I mean, if his opponent has a jack, I don't think he's folding for two-thirds or anything smaller, but uh, the two-thirds or any bet is probably going to get him to fold ace high and all the way down to, you know, pocket fours, threes, you know, things of that nature. Ace six, I guess, could find a call here. I, I don't know, but uh, I mean, what do I know as well? Because we've seen some pretty wild plays here from some of these players. Vixens may not give his opponent credit for anything at all, and ace high finds the call here, perhaps. I mean, having the 10 is just kind of gross um, because you sort of interact with a lot of Bobby's bluffs exactly like what he has, 10-8. You know, 10-8, queen-10, these are the sorts of hands that you can beat. 10-7. On occasion, maybe 10-7 um, of hearts, something like that. But um, yeah, blocks 10-7 well, of diamonds. Well, one thing's for sure: Vixen just found himself <laughs> in the tank again. <laughs> Yet again. I mean, this time he does actually have somewhat of a decision because it is sort of a draw-heavy flop. Um, so there's some possibilities for hands that he beats, but like seven-eight just got there. And so the most reasonable cards that uh, are hands that he is going to, you know, sort of bet flop for half pot and get called, um, you know, he's just losing to them. So he does finally settle on the fold. Bobby gets it through. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go indeed. I think Bobby, Bobby needed that one. In response to Kim, I think we should all go buy uh, Lucky H&M hoodies tomorrow. I might go get one for myself. I bought one last week from H&M <laughs> when he talked. <laughs> but you didn't wear it for the seniors' well, no. event, clearly. Uh, well, <laughs> oh, that one hand was brutal, Brittany. It was brutal. Mm. 
Hayden put a look down at 7-4 and give it back to Brittany. Dusty with the 6-4. Mm. Hayden had her by a little bit there. Bobby with the jack seven off suit. It's like it may be him and uh, yeah, Dixon no, on your public side. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah a little blind on blind situation here. Blob's going to come ace high. Dixon did hit his five. You okay over there? I think these um, Texas uh, allergens are getting to me. I'll be here going to rep a uh, an ace, perhaps a, a good 10, something like that. Certainly can be limping some of those hands. And oh, wow. Vic Vix it with the snap yeah, call there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can't really be folding pairs uh, for small bets, but yeah, yeah, huge improvement here on the turn, obviously. Bobby's going to check. Let's see how Vixen the, hitting the, the turn here with another five. See how he wants to play this. I thought Aaron was going to say huge improvement on the speed of play. <laughs> <laughs> but he went, he went with the turn. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. No, so Vixen I, will take it down. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so Brittany, uh, yes. I played the seniors event. Yes, yes, yes. I got your four hands in. I, I, I played stupidly. Okay. Uh, I, I try and keep it quick. The guy flopped the full house. I had Ooh. king, queen. I hit a king on the turn. Okay. Thought I was good. Ooh. Thought I was good. Uh, we got it all in on the turn. Okay. And uh, when the guy turned over his full house, I was so disgusted with my play. I walked away. The early Gra exit. Grabbed my stuff and walked away. Mm, took your ball and went and, home. Yeah, and uh, as it turns out, I hit an eight, giving me the the win on uh, the winner on the river. And uh, uh, yeah, the whole room was, the room was filled with people, and they called me back. And as I walked back, the only the only thing it's like Kim was standing there, and the only thing I saw was just Kim. It was just her and me in the room, and she's looking at me like, "What the hell are you doing?" Oh, she is. And all I could think to say was. He fought the full house. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it was <laughs> one of my more embarrassing moments in my poker career, you know. But anyway. 7.9 here was. Went on to play solidly after that. I calmed down and. Reeled it in. Yeah. It was a wake up call. So I apologize to the gentleman that uh, I sucked out on. Yeah. And. Uh, I mean, not for sucking out, but for the for the tantrum. Well, well, I, it was look. He, everybody knew I was frustrated with myself, but you know, the embarrassing thing was that, the walk, the, the pre walk off, well, premature well, walk off. The kid, it was it, the kid yeah. was mad at looking like, at me. Eh. I was like, oh, this is so embarrassing. Um, brief side note, quickly. Uh, thank you to Mitchell and uh, Sassy for the recommendation. I'll definitely have to try that because. I don't know if it's cedar just yet, but something about the allergens here is just kicking my butt. Um, so I'll definitely try the local honey, and we're going to bring it back to Vixen's. Vixen's got a couple of jacks, Brittany. On the button. Uh, I don't know. Is, does he? It, look where the button is. Does he have the button? It says button. Right. Oh. I'm going to go with button. Well, He's uh, the, isolated down there, so I that's was what looking we're going to go with. Position. Well, of the button. Uh oh, Dusty, Dusty with the sevens again. Didn't we have this? Is this deja vu all over again? What do you got over there? <laughs> um, <laughs> I was trying to be discreet, um, but I do have some dark chocolate, caramel, and pretzels with sea salt. It's my favorite snack. You gonna eat all that by yourself? Absolutely not. But I was gonna let you commentate on this hand. Okay, well, go ahead. I'll keep. Uh, see, what we're trying to figure out what Dusty's gonna do here with the, these sevens. Hopefully, they're a little luckier for her than they were last Vixen time. Vixen did raise the seven hundred seventy-five thousand. Dusty will make the call. No, this is no. A I'm bet. sorry. No, she didn't make the call. She raised again. Get him, Aaron. 
<laughs> Again, I was... Well, it, I mean, it's it's kind of, I mean, it's just tricky because Dusty is really incentivized to not build these big pots out of position. She's one of the safer players, and she's she's sort of putting herself in another tricky spot. I mean, we all know this quite well, right? Like, I'm sure you guys can attest to this. You play a middling to small pocket pair from out of position, and, oh. like, you always see flops like this, where it's like, okay, maybe I like this, maybe I don't, but, like, what do I do now? There's, you know, four and a half million chips in the middle, and now I have to decide what to do. Like, it just is really tough to play out of position with these sorts of hands unless you just obliterate the flop. And... We just don't do that very often. So now Dusty here, bottom end of the straight draw. Three over cards to her pair, right? Like, yeah. she wants to win the pot, but if she builds the pot by betting and getting called, like, how often is she good? How does she navigate the turn? It becomes very awkward. So she's going to check. I think that's the appropriate decision here. Yeah. And Vixen's two over, or uh, sorry, over card and uh, two jacks blocking the, uh, yeah. the nut straight here. So that was three million, not an all-in by Vixens there, because it was like a yeah. second of confusion. A little uh, premature all-in button Brittany there by, like, oh, by, yeah? by Brittany. You want to set uh, it? But uh, Vixen uh, said three million. He is not all-in, not all-in. It was a little quick premature button, snatch button there by Brittany. The bet is three million, and uh, Dusty will make the call. And just like that, already wow. going to the turn, stack to pot ratio at one. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this is this is pretty incredible stuff. Holy. Now, now he's all, all in. in. <laughs> Nothing all controversial in. about that one. Yeah. He is all in, and yeah. Dusty will throw it away. Sure. And he mm. shows Ajax and just tells one a, card that tells time. a fib. He said Ace Jack, which hand. is that what he said? Ace Jack. Mm -hmm. Ace Jack is best hand, right? No. Yeah. Stop it. Huh? Of course it is. <laughs> that uh, looks pretty good over there. That uh, bag. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. Here, get up off one? the bag. <laughs> I don't know, but I'll give you one. I don't know about the the whole bag. All right. Here. They're very chewy. Right, so. well, you, 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 you and Aaron take care of this. Um, I'm, I'm me and Aaron got it. Don't worry. Aaron and I and whatever it is, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. No, this one, this one, you got to think this one through, honestly. I mean, because... I mean, at four, three two, you snap full four two though. <laughs> Gotta think about. It. All right, we're probably only a few minutes away from uh, what I would guess is going to be a fifteen minute break for these players, as we haven't had one of those yet. And another level up. AJ here going to wield the sevens this time from the big blind, and he is also going to three bet them this time to the tune of. Whenever we are back. Uh, looks like not quite two million here. We got pockets. In. Do we still have you with us, Aaron? Yeah, I'm still here. So yeah, Hayden here, I mean, similar situation to the previous hand where you really don't love playing these small pocket pairs. However, he'll get to play in position and stack to pot ratio when he makes the call will still be around two. So. He 
these guys giving Hayden. What's your static about his sleeve? The sleeves. I don't. I find like hoodies or long sleeve shirts kind of like comforting when I'm playing because you can be more, you know. Crap. Can you control that there? Mm -hmm. Like a call from Hayden. Classical to come king high here. Two spades. No help to either player. I think whoever bets at this could probably take it down. AJ's first to act. He will lead out. Hayden trying to go through the process here and we'll throw it away. AJ's sevens are good. Guys, we have 1146 of you tuning in. We appreciate that. This is hand number 47. We are down to five here. Texas Card House in Dallas, Texas. Final table of the main event in our uh, spring. What's it? What's it called? The what? Uh, Leap in the Springs here. Leap in the Spring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a nice fold there by Hayden. Uh, Kim. <laughs> Well, there's Adrian. Good to see him in the chat. Hayden got to look down at a couple of jacks here. Try to see if he can get something going. Can we put on a halftime show? That would be fun. What? Where did he pass the... I oh, the hit because it's taking so long. Oh, I, think, I think we could... Uh, I got it. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I Dusty with queen four of clubs here and the button. she got position. Dusty going to raise. This is going to get interesting here, Brittany. Bobby. Back to Bobby. Ace three of hearts. Uh, I don't see him making a call here. And he's going to throw it away. Hayden. Just a little bit less of chips. And then Dusty, he will go all in, and Dusty will surrender the cards. Mm. Hayden will take it down. And blinds are up. Yeah, final table, 1,270. Is that how many people got? Let's check out the... What the Look at the numbers. Look at the numbers, what they're playing for here. <laughs> There it is. We had 1,277 entries, $1,100 buy-in, $1.25 million in prizes. Yeah. And this is what we're playing for, guys. Hayden going to look down at King Jack here. Remind me to punch up the chat with me. My bad. Hayden going to raise it up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Payton going to raise it up. Vixen. Definitely been a quirky, quirky evening here. Oh man! <laughs> Between us and the play, and Aaron, Aaron, come back, come help me, please. We're just going through it over here. Try to get Aaron back. I don't know. Uh... Please, for the love of God, bring Aaron back. <laughs> We need we need help. We need help. Okay. Uh, well, here we go. We have a chip count here. In. Vixen was that twenty six million? Uh, that is twenty six million for Vixen. Dusty now short stack with seven point seven five million. Insane. Eight <laughs> in second place with eleven eights. Oh, thank you, Lego. I did get a little dialed up for you guys <laughs> tonight for this final table. So they did see that. Yeah. A quick glimpse. <laughs> Mitch is such a dad. You guys have no idea. Ugh. With the tech stuff inside this booth, it gets very, very quirky. It's, there's a lot going on. We're just we're just doing our best, honestly. <laughs> it's like nonstop laughing. Like I can't. Aaron. Oh, that's Aaron. funny. That's funny. Okay. I thought we had missed something, but apparently Vixens is still hold in the on, tank. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on, Aaron. Let's see. <laughs> Aaron? Yes, maybe. <gasps> You're back! Oh, my goodness. All right. Yay. Finally. All right. Work. You see, I was clicking everything, <laughs> and I clicked the wrong thing and put <laughs> us up. Uh, okay, well, he's back. Yeah, that's all that matters, Yay. really. Honestly. <laughs> help, us, help us out here. I'll do my best. I got sent into the nether regions of uh, the internet. Uh, I have returned. <laughs> and God. here we are, AJ and Hayden, both flopping a middle pair. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, Lord. I can't breathe. Back to the action. <laughs> Hayden. Yeah, oh, enough. Wow, I was just going to comment on how much trouble Hayden was in here, and then, bam. Wow. It's still a, still still somewhat of a scary board, but Hayden does have the better of it. Yeah, this is a prime opportunity for a block bet. 3.6 million in the middle. You, you can get called by worse, something like ace-10 will certainly feel inclined to call you, but you don't really want to go for a big size. So, I mean, if if I'm in Hayden's shoes, I'm putting something like 950 or a million out there just to kind of, yeah, there's the million. There's the million. I think, uh... Yeah, really well played by is. Hayden. Yeah, I kind of get the feeling somewhere Kim's jumping up and down a little, just a little bit, just a little <laughs> bit, somewhere yeah, she in the room right now. She's jumping up and down. She's definitely love that clap and smiling, you know, pumping her fist in the air or something like that. All of the above. <laughs> Looks like uh, Dusty found a hat. I know you guys were talking about well, that. Well, there earlier. it is. Uh, there, it, okay, they're in trouble now. <laughs> that's that's Dusty. Hat on, hoodie adjusted, and her big blind. Is see if it does anything for her. She's got them right where she wants them now. <laughs> no jumping. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah. Maybe maybe it's premature for the jumping. Uh, definitely. It, it fist in the air, pumping in the air. <laughs> Vixen going to look down at a couple of sixes here. And the button. You go throw some tri chips out there. Uh, 
dusty with a very dusty holding here. Queen three off. Is still yeah. going to make the call. The high card equity good enough for her to see a flop and brick city for both players. It is yeah. effective third pair and a gut shot for Vixens. Quick check back and now both <laughs> players with a pair and a flush and, draw. And a flush draw, yeah. Dusty's she's got to like the three end of flush draw. She's going to bet out at it. Some excitement going on in the background there. Somebody <laughs> shouting at a one two pot or something. Something. <laughs> Back over to Vixens here. I think his hand is far too strong to fold, but I don't think he gets a lot of value from raising, nor does he need to turn his hand into a bluff. At least that's my take. He's got a double gut shot here. He can hit a four or an eight to improve his hand. A diamond may or may not be good for him, but uh, yeah, I think the only option is to just put the call out there, see a river in position. He does do so. Here we go, 3.8 million in the middle. Four of diamonds. Both players improved to a flush, but Dusty with the best of it. And a quick check from her, though. Interesting. Bets the turn and doesn't want to fire the river for value with the third nut flush. Oh my goodness, is Vixens about to bet the six high flush? Oh, I see, because we were black and white, now we're back. I, I find it hard to believe. Wow. I check. Oh, oh okay. A little pump fake there. How does it go? Check, check. Yeah, a little missed value there, I think, from Dusty. But uh, Vixen, Aaron? I don't understand. Oh, no. Am I, am I gone again? Aaron, are you with us? Six. <laughs> no, I didn't need that river. I, was, I thought about pounding the turn. But... All right. How about now? Yes. Yep. All right. So I know I like that the, yeah, ahead, the audio on your guys' end uh, or the internet on your guys' end has had trouble for a while. And mm -hmm. but it, since I'm doing it remote from home, I feel like every time you guys have an internet hiccup, I get booted from the audio stream. And that doesn't happen when I'm in the booth um, at Texas Card House here in Austin. So interesting uh, little quirk of the audio that we are finding out in real time. But we're all back, which is great. But I, I think you're correct. I think whenever we have an issue, we lose you too. And it's just, yeah. <clears throat> oh, Gaston's world says that they can still hear me, but you guys can't. Interesting. That's wild too. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's, that's what I thought was happening, which if we can't hear, we could be talking at the same time, you know. I can't hear it. You know what? We can't. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Well, maybe that whole time you guys were still hearing me, and I'm over here like, all right, nobody can hear me. Just like talking into the ether. <laughs> talking into the abyss. Oh, that's amazing. They're like, no, no, you're still with us. I wonder what he was saying. What he didn't think anybody was hearing him. <laughs> probably, probably nothing exciting. No, I honestly, I, I really didn't say that much. But uh, <laughs> once it once it became apparent that I wasn't being heard by you guys, I was just like, all right, whatever. <laughs> okay. Well, Hayden back up to 12.5 million in chips. He's breathing a little easier, Dusty, at two at 9.4. Hand number 52. 1,085 watching, Brittany. <laughs> you caught me, RJ, cussing at the cat. <laughs> <laughs> at least that's what I call it. 
Uh, Poker Face Ash joining us as well. Says so go Dusty and Hayden. Yeah, absolutely. Two very well respected players around here. Wish, uh, wish you or I were at this final table as well. There, Ash. I know we both uh, took our shot at it, but Bobby here going to be all in with the King Queen. Bobby's Back all over in. To Dusty, who, yeah, she should be not long for the world here with King Three. Well, that's not nice. It's a little aggressive. Yeah. 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 Here, we, here we do not go. Actually, yeah. Jacob. <laughs> here we go. Here we go with here, the fold. Here we do not go <laughs> with King Three. Nice hand, Bobby. We've seen, I think, a little reckless play out of uh, Dusty for sure, but I don't think she's gonna take her shot with King Three off for almost all the chips. Uh, you cold? Can we go get the? I'm a little chilly, but I'm trying to thug it out. I have to. Uh, I'll You're let you gonna and step Aaron. out. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me go do. Uh, last time you let me and Aaron take over, everything shut down. <laughs> so we'll try to do. We'll try to do a better job this time. I got you. I got you. I see the icons. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I got it. <laughs> I am hip to the scene. If there's one thing that I am, it's hip to the scene. And holding it down with Aaron. That's right. Dusty going to take another swing at this one, raising it up from the cutoff. AJ, though, on the button, A7 suited. Looks like he's going to tag along over here. Yeah, maybe as a three-piece. Let's mm -hmm. see. Just a call. And yeah, every time these blinds go up, the stacks get shallower here. Vixen's still working with 60 big blinds, but everybody else very much in sort of 20 big blind or less kind of danger zone. Vixen's mm -hmm. going to let go of the 9-4 diamonds. Surprised he didn't tank and free bet, but um, <laughs> we are going to go heads up to a flop. Queen 5 tray, so top pair for Dusty. AJ whiffs by a mile. Gonna get a C bet out of Dusty. I feel no, like he just. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> oh no, there's just a lot of boards that he can continue on. This one just really isn't one of them. I mean, Ace High could and... be good, but wow. Yeah, I mean, we've seen him make I think a few questionable plays today, so I'm not thoroughly shocked by this, but definitely putting the pressure on Dusty a little bit. Yeah, I mean, and it makes some sense, right? Like, he did it earlier on a pretty disconnected mm -hmm. board from the big blind check raising against the chip leader um, with, you know, just absolutely nothing. But his opponent doesn't have to have very much either. I think both instances, the previous time it was Jack-8 on King-4-3. Now he's got mm -hmm. Ace-7 of spades here. Like, I don't hate it, right? Like, I'm not trying mm -hmm. to be overly critical. It's just that... When you get called, it's so hard for your hand to improve because you have no connection to the board. Yeah. So it's just really difficult. Like if this bluff doesn't work right now, it's just kind of over. And yeah, you put gonna... a bunch more chips in that you didn't need to. <laughs> so that's my potentially, only perspective. Potentially not gonna end well for AJ here. Yeah, I think, I mean, Dusty here, she's got, like, less than a pot size jam left behind. Yeah, she's just Ooh, all in. There she's it got is. Top pair, less than, like, 15 big blinds. I don't think she has many choices. Excuse me, less than 20 big blinds. Uh, but the effective stack are less than uh, 15. And, yeah, she's all in. And Thank yes, you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob seems to think that some of the final table players were getting impatient. I could yeah. see, I mean, I, I don't know. I still feel like we haven't been 
or they, because we're not playing, but they haven't been playing for very long, but... Yeah, and I mean, there's always the reminder, you glance over at the clock and you see the pay jump between uh, fifth place and fourth being well over $10,000. I mean, there's a big incentive to not just, you know, oh, YOLO it in with some random hand and see what happens, right? Like, I think these players yeah. are going to be, you know, sort of honed in and focused for a few more hours, I would guess, before, like, the impatience and the, man, we've been here forever and we both, you know, we're heads up and we both have 15 big blinds. So the kind of impatience kicks in. Uh, so I don't see us getting yeah. there anytime soon. I agree. I agree. <laughs> What are, speaking of the payouts, let's see. <laughs> Try not to mess anything up too bad here while, while he's gone. <laughs> let's take a look. Yeah, as AJ here is going to be under the gun with... Uh, he's got 13 big blinds right now. 14 maybe. Um, yeah, he's, he's sort of the player with the... Uh, target on his back, so to speak. AJ. Yeah, one thing that I'll say, I mean, we've certainly seen it here earlier with our previous bust-outs. Um, players in Texas generally just, you know, they kind of throw a little bit of caution to the wind in these final table spots. Not really playing super cautious and really waiting for their spots you know i mean you love to see it people really getting after it and willing to gamble willing to go for you know, check raise bluffs and stuff uh you know we saw bobby do that earlier it's like i mean it's just really exciting stuff to watch here in texas that's for sure yeah absolutely absolutely not a shortage of action cash tournament final to just all the all the way around and i love it as well <laughs> Dusty check calls the flop and checks again on the turn. Vixens here continues betting with a bad gut shot. He is virtually drawing dead to a tiny little pair as uh, Dusty turns the up and downer, makes the call, and River's second pair, which is the best hand. I mean, any ace is Broadway, though. He's going to check it over, and Vixens here gonna rep it and very quickly as well yeah really not the card that Dusty was looking for does improve her hand but not in the way she wanted hasn't folded yet and it's a middling size but Really tough spot to make the hero call. She'll let it go. I'm back, Aaron. What did I miss? Well, Vixen's just took down another pot and uh, is going to improve his chip lead a little bit more. AJ here going to be in the big blind with uh, about 12 big blinds to start the hand after he puts that ante out there. So we're getting into the danger zone for AJ. Server. And we also had a um, Dusty oh, yeah, did want a smallish pot. I think in your in your absence as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well yeah, I'm, you know, he looked a little chilly over there. Oh, Vixen with the chips and the cards here. I showed him having Ace King, and now it's gone. Let's go back. Yeah, that's better. Thanks for the shout out, Columbia Bound. Appreciate that. Yeah, hope to have some uh, bigger caches and even deeper runs this year. We'll see. Yeah, I believe I pushed you a pot at least one. Yesterday, Aaron, I can't remember. Yeah, 
I dealt to you yesterday. I think I, I think I pushed one or two. I can't remember. Yeah, unfortunately, I wasn't in the main event for too, too long. We started with 101 players. I went out 69th and then moved over into the high roller where I made a little bit of a deeper run. Still came up short of the money, but had a good run at it. And just an amazing time, too. It was it was so much fun. I think it was a bunch of bust out, like sort of losers from the main <laughs> that had gone to play the high roller. But we were over there having a jolly good time. and bluffing each other and it just i mean it was awesome and then of course you know harvey got a little bit of run good there he took me out with kings and he had aces jacks a bunch of big hands obviously a great player played really well as as, uh, as well and just I had the opposite. Sort of ran over the field so you may have pushed me a pot but i'm sure you pushed many more to uh mr harvey on his way to the victory congrats to him <laughs> No, I, I I believe I dealt to dealt you to, uh, cash over at LC. Was that yesterday? Uh, oh, that would have been a couple of days ago. And no, I had a pretty bad session it's getting smoked over there. It's but I did the win a few it's hands. In the car so maybe somewhere. maybe you sent one my way. <laughs> I, yeah, I think I, I think oh I think God. I think I pushed him one. You know. I'm gonna pretend I did. I'm gonna say I did. I pushed him <laughs> <it> one. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, the next color up is that. I think yeah. that's the next color. All right. Suited here for the chip leader. Bump it up and go for the big size too. 3x open. Interesting. AJ with the 10 5. Not happy with that. And Vixen will take down another one. Guys, we have a look pretty like 1,069 watching. Viewers appreciate that, guys. Coming up on hand number 58. Down to the final five, uh, you know, uh, I got to say this is the, the final table, of final event. Mm -hmm. It's been uh, an excellent uh, series. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm also briefly, because Fully Bay did pop his head in earlier. Shout out to the floors that have just been yeah. putting in so much work, handling everything so gracefully, so supportive. You know, Everyone's done an amazing These guys, job. They, they always do. A good yeah. job, you know. It's uh, it's like almost automatic. <laughs> uh, and uh, I mean, you know, but Texas Card House leading the way in uh, poker rooms in the state of Texas. Uh, is is it too sure. ambitious to say the country? Is that too ambitious, well, or do you, you know, think that's fair? I mean, uh, I'm just gonna you know cover the state of Texas right now. Two point okay. five but, behind. But yeah. You know, uh, top-notch stuff here. I mean, I could have won. Good one too. Fix it. I don't think that's a home In the early stages of the tank, with eight deuce <laughs> off. <laughs> with the eight deuce off, I had to think about it. You have to. Uh oh, looks like looks like. Uh, Hayden, did did he get into our pizza box? Eight what? I see him over there with some pizza. Check the box. <laughs> <laughs> if Hayden got in there 30 minutes ago or whatever delay we're on, I think your box is empty and in the garbage, my man. I'm sorry to say. Well, I know there was like two slices left. I stepped out. <laughs> Did he? Can't, I can't account for what happened in that five, five or ten minutes. All right, Bobby's going to look, at, uh, look down at a couple of eights here with the butt. And Chris, uh, you know, and, and uh, Bobby going to raise here. See Chris saying he's played all over. Texas is definitely the place to be. You know, a couple of times when we had these big events like this, you, you get people coming in and they play some cash during, you know, when the tournament's not going on. And always, always compliments. I mean, what's not to love? Well, I had a young man uh, <laughs> say the other day uh, that it was his first time here, and it's, uh, you know, and I'm going to be totally honest. He's like he's like 25 years old. How many kind of other poker rooms has he played in? You know, he was like, oh. but still, he said this is the best poker room that he's, he's ever been in. When I'm not 25, it's the best poker room I've ever been in. I mean, I've, I've played in a lot of poker rooms by 25. I'm saying I played in Seattle, California, Florida, Gosh. Vegas, Atlantic City. 
You and I have been in Atlantic City a couple times. At least once <laughs> that I can partially remember. We're not going to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Very hangover esque. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Literally. Going to a flop. <laughs> Going to a flop. <laughs> Is that clubs for. Uh, well, no, not really. Thought Aiden, Hayden was suited, but he is not. Eights is still good. Hayden does have a gut shot straight draw here. <laughs> and it's now started playing at 18. Line. Hayden here actually getting a price to just float here ace high and the gut shot. It looks like he will. Oh. Great turn card here for Hayden. Top pair in the gutty. And a check. He might have bad intentions here, or he just wants to see what Bobby wants to do. Yeah, I mean, Bobby betting the flop there still has the betting lead. He's going to still have all of the best hands. Can't just go leading because you turn top pair. Uh, I mean, some sometimes y you certainly can, um, and it seems reasonable, but this definitely one of the times that I think a check is prudent. Bobby checks it back, and we do the same on the river. Checky, checky, Hayden takes it down. And a nice little chip infusion there as Bobby is going to be down in the danger zone right there with AJ. Both players now sub, uh, say, 16 big blinds. Uh, and here in the chat, the, a couple of people are commenting on uh, Vixen's tanking. Lego here has uh, an interesting comment, and I've always, I've always felt this way. With his tacking, it hurts the others as long as he has a chip stack. It, the tournament goes by clock, so the blinds, the clock's constantly tipping, uh, ticking, and the you know blinds are going up. So, so are we shifting more towards Vixen being a genius at this? Point? Is that what we're trying to say? Are you are you a fan well, of the tanking well, Lego? I, I don't think that's what they're trying to say <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I was so, trying to get some clarity. Yeah, well, here, let me give my, let me throw my two cents at this one really quick. It, it certainly seems like that on its face because <laughs> let's say that, you know, as of, uh, you know, right now, I guess, uh, Dixon has something to the tune of like 60 big blinds. What do we got? Yeah. He got 28,400K big blinds. He's got 70 big blinds, right? Yeah. So 70 big blinds, that's a lot of chips. Uh, everybody else is somewhere in the 30 to sub 20. So if he just tanks it out and and the blinds go up, he goes down to 50 big blinds, they all go down to 13 or something, right? That does right. seem like they will be in more danger of going busto. But the flip side of it is that there will be fewer pots that can be played across multiple streets. And that's really the advantage of having a lot of chips is that you can apply pressure pre-flop, on the flop, on the turn, right? Like. Yeah. You, just, you can never go broke in the hand, even if you go all in pre-flop. But, like, you can bet small on the flop. You can bet bigger yeah. on the turn. You can put right. them all in on the river, right? Like, it's your leverage that's really important as a chip leader. If everybody's short and you have 50 big blinds, they're just going to be going all in. And you have to wake up with a hand to call them. Like, now yeah. you've sort of taken away your ability to utilize that chip stack because they're either all in or folding. And now your chip stack is sort of meaningless because you just have to have the cards. Looks like he definitely does have the cards here. Ace Queen. How much do you have? Wow. Yeah, AJ here choosing the wrong time to check raise. Yeah. He's Definitely gotten this playing. one through a few times. This is not going to be one of those times. Certainly not. Looks like Vixen's just going to make the call here, like what we were just talking about. Or what Daryl was talking about. <laughs> wow. 
And there it is, the all-in. And a oh, fold. <laughs> we have questions about some of your moves, sir. <laughs> no, but no, it, it was a little bit out of line. He is going to chip down substantially as well, put a little bit more at risk there than he needed to, and unfortunately now going to be on sub-10 big blinds. In fact, I think after he puts the small blind out there, he's going to have something like six yes. uh, behind. <laughs> this, is, this is really going to be tough for him to spin up. <laughs> Hayden but a look down at ace 10 here and we'll throw it away yeah and that's purely because AJ yeah. is so short now now you're really incentivized to just get out of the way let the chip leader have his way he can pick up as many pots as he wants AJ either doubles up or goes broke and then we start playing poker again but until that moment uh, Hayden is going to have to have a real hand yeah. to get involved. And I think the same goes for Dusty. Uh, Bobby, of course, he's still in, like, very close to um, the danger zone as well. I mean, he's got something like 13 blinds, just went through the big blind there. So, I mean, he's still obviously waiting for AJ to go broke before he has to put himself at risk. But he can still get himself involved with uh, a little bit wider range, I would say. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Dusty just Seven releases half. the ace eight in the cutoff. Yeah. She's just not going to yeah. mess around with the yeah. chip leader. <laughs> and here's an all in by Bobby. Well, there's Bobby's chance to double up or go home. And Vixen looks down, sees ace king, and does make the call. Bobby with the stand up. Vixen with the stand up. Stand up. Now what? I got to tell you, though, Vixen did beat him to the stand up. So uh -oh. I don't know if that means anything. I guess we'll see. All right. Brittany's going to uh, get the pot right. And we will be heads up to the flop here. All in. Bobby is all in. His tournament life is on the line here. Just heard some chatter about ICM suicide. I think Bobby here has a mandatory jam. Uh, he's got 14 bigs. I don't know. I mean, yeah, he could... Just, uh, maybe not a mandatory jam. I don't know. 14. I guess he's got enough to fade it. His opponent's on six. King yeah, maybe it is queens. a fold. He's in the need of six. It and actually is a five. Yeah. And, and there it is. Yeah, ICM is so tricky. I mean, uh, even people that study ICM don't know how to really implement it correctly. Think um, that seven deuce just then. <laughs> yeah, that spot there. It looks like it should be a no-brainer oh, yeah. jam, yeah, and bad. it's kind of tough to call Bobby for going blocks. for it. But yeah, he had 14 big blinds to start the hand. He pushed, yeah. And AJ had six. I'm so happy. Yeah, I mean, he was six small blind. Everybody is folded. Pocket six. Sure, hoping just to pick million, up what the big blind. And yeah. uh, really didn't mind a call, you know. Right. Got a pair. Fortunately, it did go well for him. And uh, he will finish. Was it fifth, Brittany? Yes, fifth place, place for a forty-six nine. Million forty-six thousand. For the fan favorite, Bobby. This a lot evening. of, lot of uh, well played lot of by people Bobby. in the chat. A little upset, Bobby. Yeah. Yeah. But he played well. No, I mean, fifth is still incredible. He played well. Absolutely. You know, hats off to the young man. All right, now we have an all-in by AJ and a call by Hayden. We could have back-to-back -back eliminations here, but AJ does have... We, had, we did have a, an all-in-the-call, yes, no? 
Yeah. Okay. It looks like it. All right. And we'll see a flop. And there it is. Hayden with the jack. Mm. AJ needs a king or a 10. No. And there it is. Is that back to back? Back to back eliminations. And. Y'all want to pause it now? I'm good, I'm good. Huh? huh? Y'all want to pause it, look at numbers, or I want to I'm down smoke. for that, yeah, if you want to. I think we're going to take a quick break. Do you want to look at numbers? Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm down to look at the numbers. Huh? <laughs> I mean, it's going to be ICL no matter what. So they can run the numbers, the, the, the floor guy? All right. Well, let's uh, let's just sort of recap what's happened here, right? Dusty started with the overwhelming chip lead. Hayden came in second in chips, but pretty distant second, all things considered, right? It was 22 million for Dusty and like under 10 for Hayden. Everyone else kind of hanging out six to four million, and Tim BB starting things off with six big blinds at 1.2 million. We had some pretty rapid consolidation there. I'd say within the first, what, 13 hands, we had, I think, three eliminations. Certainly by the time we had 25 hands, I remember, because it was 25 hands, five players down. So really didn't take long to get down to five players. And then at that point, we kind of stagnated, right? We didn't have a ton of big action i mean well okay i take i should take that back we had we had some big action the chip lead was moving around but of course no one was eliminated um and then yeah just rapid succession we got two players eliminated and here we are three remaining still dusty still hayden and of course vixen over there with the overwhelming chip lead at this stage of things looking at some numbers gonna go ahead and talk about a uh you know independent chip model ICM chop to sort of secure their current chips worth of value from the prize pool. Obviously, if they do that, they'll still set aside some amount that will then be played for along with the tournament championship trophy, which everybody would love to be uh, in possession of. Put that up on the mantle or you know, somewhere prominently displayed in your house. So still, yeah, they, they, still they, they should. Uh, they should bring the trophy out uh, and put it on. The, well, they'll bring it, I guess, when they get down to two, right? Mm -hmm. They'll bring the trophy out, put it on the table. Are they they're talking ICM right now, right? I think so. Are we? Are we? Are we Aaron, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> we got. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted for a moment. No, you're good. You're good. Yeah, we were distracted for a second too, but now we're back. But uh, yeah, we're gonna while they're uh, you know doing a little break there, talking about the ICM. We, Brittany wants to bring this stuff up, right, Brittany? Um, yeah, another series in Houston, Poker Atlas Tour, um, one million in guarantees, April tenth to the twenty second, and that's gonna be sixteen different events in but, Houston. Uh, over a million in guarantees. Over a million. You gotta dig that. And uh, what else we have? Um, the Spring Classic, which is in spring, as a matter of fact. Um, $400,000 main event with a $600 buy-in. Yeah, that oh, one kicking right. off just in a couple of days. So first event in full swing here uh, just on, what, Wednesday. So, yeah, if you're down in the Houston area, pop on down to TCH Spring and uh, kick that thing off with a bang. All right, let's see what else we have. We have, uh, I wanted to let everybody know, uh, because of the bigger one is always at the end of the month, the last yes. weekend, the last weekend of the month here at Dallas. Uh, but because, you know, the Easter holiday, we're going to have it uh, the third week. So, uh, you know, don't forget the, although, I mean, there's a lot of locals here to play this. Uh, so that'll be the third week this month. Uh, not the last week. So the 20th to the 24th. Yes. From March. Yeah. So uh, let's see what else. Uh, what else do we have here? Hey. 
Uh, that'd be cool. Let's see here. So, guys, we are on uh, somewhat of a break. And uh, that's okay. I mean, uh, what else we have here? We can talk. There's Brittany's. This, this, she's a machine. Look, she's still in the box. Britain, no, no breaks for Brittany. Actually, I'm. This Brittany is going to take a break. We'll go take a break. I'll let uh, you and Aaron rock out, and Brittany, and um, I'll be back with you guys momentarily. Find out where where Hayden got that pizza. <laughs> I, I will do that. <laughs> dude, you're still <laughs> sweating your pizza, man. <laughs> dude, if your pizza's gone and that dude got it, I think you can go hit him up what? for uh, for a what? free slice any time in the future. Homie is going to be bringing home. Uh, at least what? Uh, can you pull up, pull up the payouts here? Real quick? Let's, let's see what. See. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because let's let's talk about what ICM is actually going to do here, right? We've got okay. 180 for first. Yeah. All three players for sure getting 90. It's not possible to get less than 90. So now, the discussion is going to revolve around. All right. How are the chips distributed? And how much value does my stack as it stands right now? garner from the prize pool because even if you have 99 percent of the chips in play you're not guaranteed to get first place like we can all look at that objectively and be like you're gonna get first place if you have 99 percent of the chips in play you're gonna get nine you're, you're gonna get first place almost all the time right. but there is a non-zero percentage of the time that you're going to actually just double up this guy four times in a row, all of a sudden he's back in it, and you have to play the game again, and you aren't just guaranteed first place. So ICM, independent chip model, factors all of that in, assuming that all of the remaining players, in this case the three remaining players, are all effectively the same independent robotic player playing against each other. They'll all basically perform the same. And says, okay, let's just look at it from a pure numbers perspective, apply some probability theory, and this is what your stack is worth. Knowing that even if you have 99% of the chips, you shouldn't be getting first at 99% of the time. It's a little bit less than that, right? So anyways, all of that is going to go into the calculation. On top of that is the very human factor of I have a lot of chips and you guys don't. I think I <laughs> right. deserve more than what the model says I think I should get. Or I think I'm a better player than you guys. I think I should get more than what the model says. Or maybe somebody is like, I don't do chops. Or I'm only taking first place and you guys can chop the rest of the money because, you know, my ego or whatever. There's anything in between there, right? So that's what these players, these three players have to go and figure out amongst themselves. And the decision has to be unanimous, right? Like, you can't have two people, this is not democracy, two people say, oh yeah, this is what we're gonna do, and the third guy has to suck it up. Everybody right. has to agree, everybody has to get on board, or else this is exactly what we're playing for. 180 up top, the next player goes out, gets 90, and the guy in between, or the gal in between, gets 125.5. Now, I don't know about you, um, but, well, actually, let me just ask you this: What 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 would you be doing in this situation? Um, are you are you looking to sort of lock up a little bit better pay spot if maybe you're third in chips here, or or what are you looking to do? Well, well, wait. I mean, uh, what I would do is, I mean, obviously, see who's all the chip stack. Who's how, how short is the short stack? Um, but yeah, AJ uh, is very short, right? He has like yeah. six big blinds right now. And I think he's going to be in the big blind in maybe a hand or two. Uh, I think see. the button is correct over there. So, oh, excuse me. Sorry. AJ just went out. I apologize. Yeah. Um, uh, that's right. We're down to these three stacks that we can see. Dusty, I think, is going to be the shortest. Yeah. But she is not, like, on dust, yeah. right? Like no, but she, she's not. Yeah, she's not short, short. It's it, She's... Where, can we get the chip stack, the chip count up? I really can't. We don't usually have these colored chips going, so I'm not really. I'm trying to count or gauge, but she is short. Uh, I mean, I'd be up for a chop, you know, an ICM chop. Uh, because uh, let's see, what's the numbers again? If, yeah, uh, I mean, let's say that um, Vixens goes I mean, from. 
you know, what is looking pretty good for him with his chip stack, he's got something like half the chips in play. You know, he's got a pretty good shot at first. Like, let's say that his ICM payout is 140. Okay. Or 145, right? Now, he's right in, He's sort of getting the money in between first and second. And a lot of people would just be like, hell yeah. Like, I don't yeah. have to beat them. I don't have to accumulate all those chips. But I do better than second place. And that's already a win for me, right? Like, a lot of people would feel very good about that. And the flip side would be um, Dusty who's looking at potentially getting 90,000 for third since she's in the third uh, sort of stack position. You know, if she could get 110, if she could get yeah. 115, or maybe even 120. I mean, I don't know exactly how much she has in relation to the other stacks, but if that's I mean, what I even, even, said, even right, you might just yeah, go even uh, yeah, even 100,000, that's that's $10,000 more than if she finishes third. I mean, $10,000. You know, so I mean, it's even something to think about. But yeah, I see. Him, but I don't think with her chip, with, her that, yeah, I'm saying with yeah. her. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, and I don't know. I mean, it's uh, it's all up to it's all up to these guys to figure out, right? Because um, no one can no one can come in and try to you know tell them what to do or this is what's going to happen. These three players, they got to negotiate amongst themselves. They got to figure it out, or they could just come back and play for this, right? Like at the end of the day, this is what was scheduled, and you know I've seen this happen many times before, and it can be a little bit of a I don't know peer pressure kind of a situation, right? Because sometimes, sometimes you'll come into the final table, and there's seven or you know maybe a player or two busts out, and there's seven people left. And everybody starts talking about a chop already. And now you have to be one of those people that's looking at six Let's other see. folks and being like, well, I don't want to chop. Like, I don't want to end the tournament. I want to keep playing. This is what we're playing for. This is what, you know, we're Aaron, are you there? Oh, no. Can you not hear me anymore? Well, I'm going to assume that everyone out. To, uh... There you go. I can hear you now. Oh, you can hear me? Okay. All right. Uh, so, anyways, what I was saying is. Sometimes you're the one guy that wants to keep playing and there's six other people trying to tell you what to do or that, you know, you're being greedy or something. And it's like, hey, we all came here to play this tournament. We all knew what the payouts were as soon as registration ended. Like, don't pile on the guy that doesn't want to chop. Like, just play the game as it is. And until the dude that doesn't want to chop busts out, like, just move on with your lives, you know? Yeah. But I have seen it happen way too often where... You get deep into a tournament, maybe four, five, six players remaining, and there's that one person that doesn't want to chop, or they're asking for more than what everyone else is trying to give them. Yeah. And it and it creates this like tension, and people get angry and stuff. It's yeah. like, dude, like we all knew what we were doing. You didn't expect to get here. That's the difference. You didn't actually expect to be in this position, and now that you are, and the prospect of not getting the next level up to twenty thousand dollars or something is like pissing you off, like. We all need to just be humble in these situations. Recognize that this is a big spot for everyone. And if somebody doesn't want to make the deal, just move on. Play the game, you know? Yeah, I agree. So anyways, I hope that uh, everything that is happening behind the scenes here is uh, very jovial. I mean, these players are all very accomplished. I have played with all three of these guys and, uh, and Dusty the Gal, of course. Uh, in tournaments around the state of Texas. Definitely respect them all, and I hope that they're all uh, sort of, you know, coming to a consensus here all amicably. And we'll be back with cards in the air before you know it, or perhaps, I suppose, they could just chop it up and, and end the tournament. But do you know, actually, Mitch, is it, um, is, is it possible to just end the tournament now, or do they have to play for a certain amount to end the tournament? Uh, no, they, they, if they wanted to edit now, uh, they can. Um, oh, no. But from what I'm, I'm hearing, uh, I think they're coming back in a few minutes. Uh, it's still not official yet. Brittany, have you heard anything? She just, Brittany just came in. She. All right, looks like we're just getting another look at the numbers here floor man gonna punch everything into the ICM calculator 
And yeah, for for anybody, uh, let's let's just take a look here at the chat and see what everybody's saying, um, real quick here. I know we're just kind of twiddling our thumbs as we wait for everyone to make their decisions. Um, let's see, Billy here wants to know what's the chop. One twenty-five to Hayden and Dusty. One forty-five the other guy. I think it's pretty clear to me from the chip stacks and l unless my perspective is just wrong i think that dusty is a fairly decent third place i'd say she has something like maybe a fifth of the chips in play uh yeah, I, I did i got the official I, don't, I just lost you but I, i'm back again i got the official numbers did you you get okay. the numbers uh I, I don't i don't have anything in. uh from what i understand uh dusty and hayden are going to get 120,000 each Vixen's going to get 125, and they're going to play for the rest. No kidding. Uh, that's what I. That's what I'm hearing now. Did 125, 120, and 120. Yes. And then they're going to play for the rest. So there will be no difference between second and third. Like they just get what they're getting. Uh, Dusty and Hayden get 120k each. Vixen's. Gets 125k play for the rest. How much is the oh. rest? Um, I, that's literally. I was just gonna. I was just see. gonna ask you the same thing. Well, let's let's, let's we'll, take a look. We'll, yeah, let's pull, pull the screen up the there. We'll do yeah, some yeah, we'll do quick math. All right. So there's what three of them left? Yeah, three left. So. Okay, 395.5 is the total, and we're talking about minus 120, minus 120, minus 125. They're gonna play for 30,500. And the trophy. <laughs> and the I trophy. I suppose so. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, okay. fantastic stuff. That's... Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say... Very uh, I, yeah. Th I mean, that's incredibly exciting. I'm going to say this is incredibly unusual. Huh. Um, In yeah, what? In what so, aspect you mean? So Vixens has a pretty dramatic chip lead here. Mm-hmm. He has kind of all of the leverage in this situation. And the fact that he's getting less than second place money. Uh, I see what to, you're saying. To me is very unusual. I mean, I'm not going to try. Like, okay, so at some point, these players are going to come back and maybe watch this part of the stream. So I, I don't want to come across as... Um, as critical, right? I mean, right. they're in the moment. They're they're there. They're thinking well, for, about this, huge. and yeah, they're making huge. these decisions with the information that they have. So, so by all means, like you know, you're making one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars a minimum. That's amazing. By all means, you should, yeah. you should feel really great about that accomplishment. Now, my my comment is just that, in relation to what the numbers kind of shake out to as far as his accumulation of chips at this stage of the tournament um he he should from an icm standpoint i think be sort of getting greater value than that now it's entirely possible that there was some pushback from dusty or hayden or perhaps both of them it was like listen like we think that we're really good players and you know, ICM says you get 140. We don't think you get 140. Like, and in, if you're going to push on that, then we're just going to play. And he was yeah. like, "Oh, maybe I'll take the 125." Again, I'm not trying to put that out there as that's exactly what happened. Just, just postulating. But the, that's what they agreed to. By all means, that's what we're going to do. And I mean, whoever whoever comes away with the with all of the chips by the end of the tournament is going to have another 30,000 on top. I mean, we're talking 150 plus. For yeah, the I was, I was just going to say that too, the extra 30,000. I don't know. I think first place is what, like 180? So still 125, 120 plus the 30. Still. Well, looks like we're back to the action, but uh, what's going on now? Looks like it sounds like maybe they're still talking numbers. Yeah, 
have a good 20,000 one on Playboy. Interesting. Not really sure what's going on. Okay. Well, it looks like we are back to the action here. Texas Card House. Dallas, Texas. Leap in the spring. Final table. Main event. Yeah, here we go. All right, Hayden back in the cockpit here. Glasses engaged. Sleeve <laughs> over the thumb. <laughs> back to and it. And pizza, back. slice of pizza behind him. <laughs> Did he rob you? Was that your pizza? No. I, no. We didn't get any answers. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Well, no, I don't think that was ours. I think no. it was outside pizza. No, when she was gone, when she, when she was gone, when you were gone, I checked the box. We're good. <laughs> I loved, I loved how you were like, you were worried about your pizza slices, man. That was hilarious. I couldn't believe it. Oh, dude. Well, maybe I, if you I didn't get the extra 30, 30k, maybe he owes you a pizza. Well, well that's what you. That's, that's, that's what Aaron was saying when you left. Oh, I missed that. I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> it needs gold flakes on it, man. It's got to be some good pizza. All right. I don't know. It uh, uh, looks like we're still having issues here. All right. So, yeah, I I mean, you'll get no arguments out of Hayden or Dusty for this arrangement. Are you damn straight? Yeah. Let's go. Is there a five, I mean, there's a $5,000 award or something if you win also? What? I don't know if this is like part of another series. And the child mentioned a check. Well, Dusty's got a couple of nines. Trying to get through this first hand after the break here. We'll see what happens. Uh, all right, quick win there for Dusty as we are back in the saddle. And all right, over under on how long it takes to wrap this up, huh? Let us know in the chat how, how many more. Okay, hand number 66. How many more hands and how much time until this tournament is over? Perfect. Something to play for. Well, I definitely, I definitely, thinks it, I definitely think it's going to be a little quicker now that the money situation has been kind of figured out squared away <laughs> uh, I think, well, I think see. Well, well it could oh, be oh <laughs> could be over quick a couple of uh, red aces for hayton here uh, let's see what he wants to do with the 14.7 million chips with the pocket aces And he's going to raise. Fix it. We'll make the call. Gut shot Vixen. for Vixens, and he's going to lead into the pot here for 800k. Hmm. I don't hate the play here, actually, all things considered. Of course, he's up against a hand that is just never folding. And in fact, we'll see if Hayden plays this as a raise. Relatively draw-heavy board, all things considered. There's just all kinds of stuff out there, right? And yeah. if Vixen's just, like, flops two pair, flops a set, like, is he just going to lead? Most people don't usually do that. They sort of trap and go for the check raise so this feels more just like one pair maybe a gut shot maybe a flush draw there's some some yeah some real reason to go ahead and raise the pot right now and and he's going to take it up to a pretty chunky size setting up a turn jam honestly or at least the potential for it It'll be interesting oh. to see if uh, Vixens makes the call here with his uh, gutter ball. 
Yeah, the naked five. I mean, the king sort of going to be a live card for you. You know, maybe your opponent has something like pocket eights, nines, tens, whatever, and they're just raising right now because they're like, well, I'm pretty sure I have the best hand right now. Same as Hayden with the aces, right? Like, I'm pretty sure I have the best hand right now. Let's build a pot. And so maybe Vixens is drawing to four outs and another three. So, yeah, he's still going to let it go. He's going to lay it down. Were you uh were you asking for a over under on how many more hands they were gonna play earlier, Aaron, or were you just Oh, I was yeah. just trying to engage with the chat a little bit, just get people <laughs> fired up because I mean maybe maybe we just have all the chips go in the middle because people are like, yo, I got hundred and twenty eight locked up, let's let's just end this. Let's go home. You know, yeah. which I'm not saying I expected that, but you know, maybe maybe that's uh maybe that's the vibe at some point. Are are we going under a hundred? Yeah, I, I would, I would, I would take the under on a hundred. You know all about that. <laughs> These players are fairly deep. Let's not forget that the blinds are at two fifty five hundred, right? So over here to Hayden, he's the short stack right now. No, sorry, I guess Dusty's the short stack. So Hayden. The middle stack with 30 blinds. Vixen's on 70. And what Dusty must have... 7, 4, 8, 10. So she's probably, she's probably 20, right around 20, maybe 22 big blinds, something like that. I mean, these guys are, and gals, they're not short, right? Nobody's, nobody's on 10 bigs here. Hayden, though, is in the big blind facing... A small raise from Vixens in the small blind. There's River Rat from uh, Rio Grande Valley. We love you guys too. TCH commentators. Aw, thank you. Hayden we love you guys. Raise. Thank you. For... Hayden, Hayden, Hayden did raise. You're not keeping up with the chat here? I'm trying to multitask. <laughs> and, and not successfully. No, we can do it all. Vixens is back in the tank. We can talk about chat for <laughs> we, got, we got a minute and a half here. You guys talk. Well, you know I, what? I, you talk about. I'm gonna go refill my beverage by the time I get back. <laughs> Vixens will still be thinking. I'll be back. So right. maybe, so maybe under a hundred hands, but over over an hour because of the <laughs> <laughs> because of Vixens. All right, I'm done. I'm no, done. I'm done. Come on. <laughs> um, I mean, regardless of you know everything um huge huge day for everyone at this final table well he's he's taken he's taken off the hoodie a, a full outfit or, change i almost didn't recognize him absolutely yeah. vixen i want to poker shirt club? there is that what? vixen's poker vixen's club, poker club. Uh, i don't know what that is well, you have to google that Let's never the, a doubt uh, never a doubt <laughs> stop <laughs> yeah. stop <laughs> there we go just in time just we were talking also about the uh the outfit change yes he's he gotten rid of the hoodie Oh, for Vixens. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, obviously, it's not as cold out at the final table as it is here in this little booth room we have here. It is brisk in here. Yeah. So, uh, Aaron, you play a lot down at the, I guess, the Austin room down here? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, sort of my home room here. Um uh, just about, gosh, I mean, we're any day now, honestly, I, I don't really have the exact details, but any day now moving over to the new location and it's just across the street, but it's going to be a much larger space, a lot more tables. There's going to be a bar restaurant in there. So really looking forward to the new room coming online here, Texas card house in Austin. Uh oh, Vixen here with a hand. Uh, both players actually flopping quite well. Somehow mm -hmm. no chips go in the middle on the flop. Vixen's got bad intentions here. He's waiting for, uh, for Dusty to get out of line. This may pay off for him because Dusty here has sort of a bluff catcher just trying to get to showdown with her pair of sixes and her kicker. 
improving to the ace on board. If Vixens goes for a big bet here, honestly, I think Dusty is going to have to look him up. But Vixens, will he go for a big size or maybe just try to eke a bet out of her for the smaller size? He does go big. Let's go. 2.5 million, nearly full pot. There's Kim with another super chat. Uh, super chat. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. And there is full value out of Dusty, checking it down to the river before pouncing. And Vixen's going to chip up even further. Dusty now down to uh, about 13 <laughs> nicklines. Kev, Kev's already splashed around the tournament, buddy. <laughs> I mean, and what's it, what was it here? Justin said she hates money. She may hate money a smidge, but she does love the TCH staff. Yes. She's always very good to us, and we... Love having her here. Very excited for her and Hayden. Brit you know, uh, Aaron, Brittany used to deal down at the Austin room. Did you ever deal to me? And you know, I was just thinking that like 10 minutes ago, and I was like, pretty sure I know Aaron. We've we've both dealt to you, right, Aaron? Me and I, Emilio? Uh, I, pres I presume so. I mean, so how, how long ago since you were down here? Maybe a little less than a year. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Um, because I've, I've been in Austin for like five years now, so yeah, yeah you... we've, we've definitely dealt to you, and we actually were just talking to Victor about whenever they do open um, the new room, we're probably going to come down and like help with the opening, you know, in case they need, need like staff to open or whatever it is that they need. I would love to come down and um, see everyone, so that'll definitely be cool, and we're looking forward to that. Excellent. Do, do you know if they have anything planned as far as uh, a big uh, event, you know, like like a tournament event or anything. Do you know if they have anything planned? Um, I do know that they are planning to have a uh, a large event. I think it's going to be some a sort of affiliation with uh, Poker Atlas, but I don't have any of the details. Again, I I don't know exactly when the doors are going to open. It's just kind of been something we've all been hearing about for a while. But very much excited for it for sure. Should be uh, should be a really exciting new room. As Dusty's going to rip it in, Vixen's here looking at a call-off for 11 more big blinds. Queen 9, definitely a sub-optimal spot to be in, but if his cards are live and he can knock out a player, he's that much closer to that extra 30k. Kim with another super chat. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. <laughs> But she did say for every person. You think Vixen, Vixen makes the call here, Brittany? <laughs> I want to say yes. <laughs> but uh, once again, he is in the tank. I mean, he's also just in the small blind. Like, there's still a player to act behind him, right? Like, it's just an open jam from Dusty and Vixen's still, yeah, he's still got a sweat. Yeah, hey, you right. can't, I, yeah. yeah, no, we're just kind of burning time here. Um, as it's, it's almost impossible to call there. Maybe if you have something like King Queen or something, you're like, oh God, maybe I can call. And if Hayden goes all in, then I still have to call, right? Like I can get having to go through the calculation there, but Queen I'm Nine, you. you call and Hayden jams, you, you're just all that money's torched, so you can't. Yeah. <laughs> Nixon's having a blast. Uh, let me have the notes there. We did take some notes. We never did talk about them. Um, we did take a few notes. Dory, Dory took all the time to look up all these notes. We didn't. Aww. We wanted to talk a little bit about some other stuff. I think we're on we're on page two of the notes now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a little musical snack at the final table. Things are starting to get more relaxed now. Everybody's guaranteed a certain amount of money. Things are more relaxed now. They're officially, officially in the money. Everybody wants to hear you sing. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> Dory, you know, Dory Coyle, you know, 
another one of the power couples that we have here at TCH in Dallas mm -hmm. uh, did some research for us. Very and, sweet. Uh, yes, yeah, so we'll cover a little bit of it after this hand. A little bit about uh, she took she she did make some notes uh, for all the players or yeah all the players. And uh, we didn't get a chance to cover some of that. We'll cover some now. We have, you know, Vixen. All right. Oh, we can't have it that now. Yeah, we wow. got a big one here. Dusty. Monstrous flop. Yep. Dusty looking to get herself unburied as she is... Oh my goodness! What wow! Wow! Turn. Ugh, All wow. right, good game, Dusty. Wow. Yeah, I think that's safe well, to say that's brutal. I mean, uh, if she doesn't go all in on a turn, maybe she can. It all depends what comes on the river. I mean, maybe a nine or a ten of spades. I but uh, Dusty's probably just gonna go for it all right here. I mean, how could you not? You've got such a good hand. There's some draws yeah. out there. You can get some value from some weaker hands that won't pay you off on the river necessarily. Yeah, she's got to raise it now. She does. Fairly small one. A little bit over a click. And yeah, we're we're gonna see three bet call off, and Dusty's gonna be disgusted. She's not yeah. dead, but she's going to need to improve to one of four outs. And this is just the way tournaments lose players. Big setups like this one. Yep, there's the all-in from Vixen. And there's the call. And the call. Yeah. And she's disgusted. Yeah, you can see it. Ugh. And the two of spades. Yeah, I mean, as, as brutal of a loss as yeah, that is, yeah. you know, it still was a great shot for everyone. I mean, top three, incredibly played. She hung in there. Awesome, awesome job. Well represented for the ladies. Uh, uh, Dusty <laughs> is well known uh, uh, and well respected and even feared. <laughs> yeah. When, when Dusty sits down at the table, because she plays the cash, she plays cash games too. Uh, yeah, people sit up straight. Uh, but congratulations uh, to Dusty. Uh, very well played. Came in as the chip leader. And that was 120 k for Dusty. And now we're going to have Hayden and Dixon's playing it out for the remaining 30000 on top of their prize monies. Yes. Yeah, and if we look at the chip counts here, it's not quite a three to one advantage for Vixens, but Hayden definitely not just down and out here. He's over 30 big blinds. So, I mean, the people sort of expecting this one to just really, you know, run down to a finish very quickly may actually need to uh, grab a beverage, throw pizza in the oven, kick back and relax. We could be at this for a little while, especially given that Vixens is prone to sort of taking some time with his decisions. And, uh, you, you know, know. Who, are, who are we? Because yeah. apparently it's worked out for him. So I think we should check ourselves, do a little self-assessment yeah. at this point, because uh, well, talk about an underdog scenario. Vixens just came out of nowhere yeah, I mean, and is in, crushing in, the game. In the very beginning, it, it seems like so long ago, uh, but he couldn't. He couldn't get a picture card to save his life. And uh, hats off. Hats off to yeah. the young man. Yeah, Kev Boz in the chat says one double up and Hayden is in the driver's seat. That's exactly right. When uh, Vixens doesn't control a three to one chip advantage. That's right. A double up swings it right back the other way. So we could see one hand transpire into Hayden taking over. Vixen's here really contemplating how to proceed here. I think a lot of these spots are that he's sort of thinking about. I mean, of course, we did see him go for the raise with the 6-3 suited that I thought was 
rather unorthodox and a little bit off the beat path. A lot of these spots, though, are just kind of like, what else are you going to do? Are you really going to raise the 5-4? And it's a small bet. Like, you're not going to you're not gonna fold the 5-4. It's suited. So yeah. just put the call out there. You don't have to, like, <laughs> always convince your opponent that you had some big decision because you've got, like, ace-jack suited and maybe you should have raised. And you're just going to call. Like, you don't have to try to convince them of that every time. So, I don't know. I do, I do hope that, um, you know... There's a little reflection here, but, it, you know, that's my perspective. Anyways, uh, Vixen's obviously in the driver's seat here as far as the chips go, and he'll be in the big blind for this hand. I'm oh, sorry, on the button this time. Well, I can't even look at these notes. I don't even, Vixen, that's his screen name. Ah, code, we don't even know which name one, Vixen. We don't even know which one is his real name. Well, we could do a process of elimination, potentially. All right, so... So he's not Alec. <laughs> yes, okay. Safe you're to right. say. Uh, he's not Tim BB. He started in the ninth seat. Started in. The or sorry, no, no, no. That was Tim BB. He started in the eighth seat. He's in. He's he's still in the. Yeah, he started but the in. notes that yeah the notes we have uh, was written uh, by Dory. She didn't have the. Uh, we're just trying to go through the process of elimination. We know he's not Hayden or like, Dusty or, or Gabe. It's like harder to count the stacks with all these 25 k chips. <laughs> They're about to call our mods. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, Vixens is the name of some uh, card club or whatever. It's on his shirt there. Yeah. So not going to give you probably any hints about what his actual name yeah. is. And there's a Kim with yet, yet another, another one. Another super chat. Thank you, Kim. She's Thank slow, Rhoda. She said the last one was the last one. She got us. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Kim, you know, if you want to keep him coming, we won't stop you. But we appreciate oh, you. Jesus. Oh, so very much. <laughs> what the heck was that? Oh, uh, man. What was that? I think a confetti popper or something. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. All right, here There's we go. Raising a call. To a flop we go. Ace high. Two pair. Here for Hayden. Hmm. Unfortunately for Hayden, Vixen <laughs> missed everything. Kimmy is the best. Uh, that that is that goes without say. Hayden will take down another one. Guys, here it is, the final table main event. Leap into spring. 813 of you still watching. We do appreciate it. Heads up action. Started off with 1,277 entries down to the final two. Hayden versus Vixen. Who you guys got? Who you guys got got winning here? Uh, uh, Vixen or Hayden? Let's hear about it in the chat. Brittany, who you got winning? I... I don't hold out. Don't hold out. Get up off your pick. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss for words because I I didn't see Vixen coming at all. You know, way earlier on, and here we are. Uh, I I think Hayden is the favorite, like local, not like obviously chip wise, but the the fan favorite, right. not the favorite to win, is what you're saying. You know what? I'm I'm gonna take Vixens here, and that's zero shade to Kim, zero shade to Hayden. Yeah, you're you're going you're going with the chips. <laughs> I'm I'm just going with what I've seen. I mean, what what am I supposed to do? <laughs> and I, I he's not an underdog per se, but he's an underdog locally and in the chat. So I'm gonna give Vixens the support. I feel like you know he's been getting picked on a little bit. I'm Team Vixens. There it is. There it is. You know, if I see if I see Kim and she says something bad about you, <laughs> I, I'll I'll take the punishment from Kim. All right. Which is risky because I deal to her often. So. Uh huh. Kim, take it easy on me. <laughs> okay. <but> the, <laughs> good luck. With, I should have put you on a spot like, like that. that. <laughs> All right. Check call flop by Hayden. Vixen's betting a million with four high and 
a whole lot of not much Thank to you, speak Ted. about on the turn. He's going to continue betting, though, 3.5 million. And Hayden going to release the best hand, as, of course, you have to. 10-7, no good there. Okay, uh, thank you, Kev. Let me uh, go back and read. Yes. Let's see here. <laughs> uh, did I miss that? I'm, I'm going I just back. want to say I loved the comment from Justin. That was hilarious. I mean, he's, he's slamming us, but it's just amazing. It was really, really well worded. That was funny. I got a kick out of it. Trying to find. We're scrolling for, for a previous comment, so we have not seen it yet. But oh, okay. When you find that one, I just enjoy it. Don't take any offense. Since it was a nice hand deal before Dusty, I can. This will be the last one for real. Did, did I miss another one? I'm going back because uh, apparently I didn't read Kim's uh, message attached to her super chat. So I want to make sure I, I do that. Uh, I can't find it. All right. oh, they're pretty far back. Yeah. All right, let me take this so I can see what's going Apparently on. Apparently, we missed a, a good message. I think he said from from Justin. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. Uh oh, Vixens with the pocket nines. Okay. Go. I think we have to go up. I like this <laughs> smooth. <laughs> BNN wants to know if Dustin or Hayden or who said no. I mean, I don't actually, I don't have any idea how that discussion went. And honestly, I don't think it's for any of us to really um, comment on outside well, of how oh, yeah, we, we were not privy about. to the, we were not privy to the conversation either. With the conversation for the chop? Yeah. Oh, ah, I mean, you know. Thank you. Uh oh, whoa. We got Brittany getting a break. Is that what it is? I mean, I don't know if that's a break or if he's just stepping in, but yeah. Well, who are we, who are we having a box now? Oh, you're putting me on the spot. Is it, it looks like maybe Derek? I think that's correct. Well, let's get a, it is. Hey, I share in everyone's pain in the chat about um, the the pace of play, but at the same time, let's remember that these guys are playing for another $30,000. It's totally fair to take your time, go ahead and think through each decision, and, you know, this this event has been fantastic from start to finish. All the players, all the staff uh, have, have the floor staff, of course, as well as the dealers have put in tremendous effort, so you know, we're, we're running up on the end of this one. It's been a fantastic ride, and you know, however these guys want to take it to the finish line is good by me. I could I could hang out here till one in the morning if we need to. Yeah, I mean, I, th today's my Friday. I have I'm, I'm actually very happy uh, that they they switched it from continuing it all the way in from Sunday into early Monday because I have to work on Monday morning. Now I'm with you, Aaron. I could go. I have off tomorrow, so. I mean, not even that. Like, kind of to touch on what you said, Aaron. But again, like. Vixens has come from like so far behind and like yeah everyone's kind of been like giving him a hard time but again obviously it's worked out for him so who are we to say like Thank yeah you, we've Dory. made we've made jokes but again like he's in the final two now so I, I do what you gotta do you know what I mean well a little shout out to Andrew uh, Novak for the, the super chat appreciate it. Thank you and yes that is Hayden uh, who I guess played in Florida forever I guess I didn't know I mean I don't but yeah, and Dory said uh, that Vixen is Benjamin, so now we can look ben it up. Ben P. Okay, thank great. You, Dory. Thank you so I much. I mean, she took all this time and Aww. wrote down all these notes, and you know, we didn't cover anything. I all feel right. I asked her, you know, if I will, I I want to know who had won the the previous uh, tournaments. So it says here, um, Ben or Vixens. Um, had a WSOP cash in 2023 mini main event and several caches in the 2022 WSOP. So apparently he's no uh, stranger to big tournament caches. 
Well, hats off to uh, Derek here for stepping in and uh, letting Brittany take a, a little five-minute break. She is back. Thank you, Derek. Excellent job. You know, I mean, celebrity uh, shot okay. for Derek. Yeah, you know, get yourself a little cameo, <laughs> right, <laughs> a little right. cameo oh, to follow the table. <laughs> you know, but if you know, if you're going to have somebody to do a cameo, I don't think any, I can find anybody better oh, than Derek. Okay. You know, maybe Curly. Okay, Curly. Uh, he would be an interesting but, character to but have. But Curly's <laughs> he's not a cameo <laughs> kind of guy. He's the you know you the John Wayne the you, think you know he's like a main event the Burt Reynolds. Do you know who these guys are, Brittany? Vague. I, I know who Curly is, so I don't. Okay. <laughs> Burt Reynolds? No. That's no. Eh, loosely. John Wayne? Okay. I'm, yeah, but. <sighs> Do you think Curly is as cool as those two? Well. Wow, you hesitated. Well, I mean, you, it, it's you can't just. I mean. I would I would say yes. I don't even know him that well, but very interesting character. For sure. Look, uh, and he definitely has some looks. So look, it's, shout out to to, to to be John Wayne cool is, you know, I don't know. Okay. Guy's been dead for years and years, and he's still cool. Well, all right. Hayden's okay, all in, hold on. So we have an that. all in here. I think it's like, wow. Okay. 14. 23 big blind jam from Hayden makes a lot of sense with his hand. He's probably best, but doesn't really want to play hands out of position so rip it all in and vixen's here suited queen nine it's borderline i, it's I mean it's it's a bad hand let's be honest like it's almost never ahead and 13 nine you're flipping against some under pairs and you're sort of 35 percent equity at best most of the time so it's definitely not a great spot but you got the chip lead you could end the tournament right now maybe you mm -hmm. just go for it Let's see. We'll get the count, and Vixens will maybe do some math. Okay, you're right. Yeah. Thank you, Kev. See, you see, I have people who appreciate it. Definitely references and stories for days, Kev. You have no idea. You guys get like a small sample. I have 32 years of experience <laughs> of this. All right. So uh, we have a snap call in the chat here. I think it's a request. Oh, if there's one thing that Vixens that is sense. not going to do, that would make sense. A request, it's, it's snap call. <laughs> well, this is definitely a request. <laughs> look, if, look, if Vixen calls within the next thirty seconds, it is a snap call That's for him. That's fair. That is fair. <laughs> you know what? Team, team I'm, Vixen. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You know, uh, I love the guy. I love the way he's played. Congratulations. You know, I mean, this far. Insane. First, first yeah. or second, it's uh, uh, amazing and I love uh, it. a lot of money and congratulations <laughs> to everybody who made the final table. They did an excellent Absolutely. job. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, Lego. It is time <laughs> to color up the blues. Lego just out of nowhere, constantly with the random comments, and I'm. Well, I think you it. know he might be watching something other than this, and you know, like the A team or something. He, Reminds me of somebody who would watch the A-Team. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Genuinely, if my life depended on it. He's laughing. Trust me, he's laughing at okay. that. Vixen, still considering what to do here. Justin agrees. Congrats to the winner. Winners. But there you go. I, I mean... <laughs> That's good. I'm rooting for a call, honestly. I'd, I'd like to see... All the chips in the middle, we run it out here. And if Vixens wins, the tournament's over. If not, they're bang on even. Dead heat mm -hmm. going into the final stretch, right? That's kind of fun. Can't yeah, do would... it. R rubber toad, I mean, it's the point. I, what can you put? It's, there's no flop. There's, there's, we're not at the flop. We're at the yeah. turn. This is pre-flop, you know, and your head's up. You know, uh, so, yeah, what, I mean, I, I want to ask him, dude, what, what are you thinking about? Well, I'm sure after this, you'll probably have the opportunity. <laughs> yeah, when you go get your pizza back from uh, Hayden, you can stop by over at uh, Seat 8 and be like, yo, I, what, uh, what, are we, what are we thinking about over there? <laughs> No, I, I did check my box. Uh, I, I, I still have two slices left. 
I, I still would like to have a pizza with Kim and Hayden for what it's worth. Yeah. Whether yeah. they took ours or not, I would I would still like to yeah. share a pizza with them. I'll have to let Kim know. I don't know uh, if she's. Sure. I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to be in her good graces. I don't know if you, it, <laughs> I think yeah. pizza's on us. We got uh, we, like what three hundred dollars in super chats from Kimmy. I That's think we fair. can. Yeah. I think we can buy the box. That's yeah. fair. More than fair, I think. Oh, I thought we were only seeing one card. I was like, oh, this is exciting. Well, occasionally, we do get a mystery hand. I love a mystery hand. I, th I think we should implement that into, you know, it would make things more interesting, you know, once in a while. I immediately, like, my immediate thought was, like, Cooper would not go for that. <laughs> Cooper is not very strict and, you know. He, he, That's fair. That's he's, fair. He's a fun dude. Is he fun? I've seen it. Okay. All right. I've yet to see it. There you go, Pete. Kim said, buy your own pizza with Sui. See, that was directed at you. <laughs> That's directed at you. Yeah, I'm in the doghouse, potentially. Uh -huh. Pizza Hayden, on Brittany. Hayden with a couple of sevens there. We'll take it down. Yeah, 31 big blind jam there, but makes a lot of sense. I mean, especially when you get down to heads up, you're going to do a lot more sort of single street poker and pocket sevens, pocket sixes, pocket fives. Like, you don't want to see a flop. Like, your equity yeah, no. is good right now against any two cards. Just rip it in, take it down. The guy's already raised, so there's a little bit of extra juice in there for you. Really yeah. like the play. And, um, yeah, Hayden here chipping up ever so slightly, still at a pretty big disadvantage. But all things considered, he's been holding his own. And... Uh, Vixen still holding a chip lead. I suppose yeah, I, there, I mean, there's 30,500 left to play for. These players can still make another deal. Let's be honest, right? Like, the yeah, 120, yeah, 125, that's done. You can't change that. But the 30.5 that's remaining, they could still decide how to hack that up if they want to. Seems like that's, I guess that's what they're doing. Crunching some numbers, maybe. <laughs> so, uh, Aaron, you said that uh, the new room should be opening soon? Yeah, I, I have no idea of what the exact date is. Uh, honestly, we've been hearing about it for quite a while and getting our hopes up for the better part of a year. Uh, but as far as I understand, the place has been renovated quite nicely. It's just a matter of the finishing touches. Hopefully we'll be in there before the summer kicks off and it gets too hot. Be in a nice new space and, uh, you know, get to, get to hang out during the, uh, the hottest months of the year down here in Austin when it's the best time to be indoors as these two players are going to get up away from the table and shake hands. Looks like a deal's been made. Perhaps the tournament is over. We made a deal. What? Surrender? No. Nah. The 20 time. He's got to be 3-1. Dude, 20. Dude, 20-10. Vixen's going to take the yeah, trophy. And 20,500, 10K going the way of Hayden. Unless I miss something, it looks to me like they have chopped up the remaining money 2-1 uh, to one off of the 3-1 to one chip advantage. And that's going to be all she wrote. What do you guys think? It's a good deal. Uh-oh. I may have lost Brittany and Mitch from Dallas. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Kim indeed did ask, did you surrender? And I think the answer is yes. Hands get shook once again. It's going to be 20K, and I think it's the 500. I believe there's an extra 500 in there, but whatever. 20K and 10K. And we're going to round things out going into the, uh, you know, run, running the credits here. Vixen is going to come out with 145, perhaps in change, 145, and Hayden, 130. Of course, we had Dusty taking home 120 for her third place finish as well. Fantastic job from everybody, the staff, the players everyone in between just a tremendous event we look forward to seeing more events like this the million dollar guarantee smashed of course we can see the trophy get placed there on top of the chips we're going to get the winner's photo here for vixen congratulations to vixen i um 
yeah, absolutely. Just hats off to that man. Hats off to Hayden. And, yeah, really well played. Look forward to seeing both of them in the streets before you know it. Dusty as well. I'm sure we'll all be playing in more tournaments here around the state of Texas. So, hopefully, anybody out there in the chat who's been chiming in, been enjoying this broadcast, come and join us as well. We've got uh, all sorts of fantastic tournaments going on around the state of Texas at TCH locations. Got the upcoming uh, spring event kicking off in just two days on Wednesday. It's going to be a uh, what, $600, 400K guarantee tournament in that one for the main event, as well as a million dollar in guarantees for the Houston location kicking off a little bit later in the month of April. So lots of tournament poker, lots of good stuff coming up. Hopefully you guys will come down, hang out with us. Maybe that'll be you in Vixen's seat chilling with the trophy and all the cash what do you guys think uh aaron we're back can you hear us yes indeed all right so it looks like uh it's over <laughs> we lost you guys for for a couple minutes there uh, did you did, did you uh, let everybody know the numbers did you have the numbers yeah I've walked everybody through everything we should be good i think everybody's all caught up so looks all right. like one heck of a showing and yeah congratulations to everybody this was this was a lot of fun it was nice hanging out with you guys all right, Aaron. Well, there's Brittany with her, with her lashes, guys. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, see you guys next Saturday. Next Saturday? Absolutely. Aaron, um, thank you. Appreciate awesome. it. I was going to say thank you to Aaron. But, yeah, oh. thank you to Aaron and everybody else for hanging out with us tonight. Yeah, it was a great time. And now that I'm seeing your face again, of course, I know you, Brittany. It's very good to see you again and hang out. Um, yeah, really great time chatting with you guys and calling the action. This was super fun. Yeah. All right. Well, um, until next time, guys. Behave Have yourselves. Or don't. That's also allowed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you guys later. All right. Good night, y'all. Good night. And look at this.